Okie dokie. Do, do, do. You know what? Why the uh, Dominion is. I know why it's being a bit slow. It's because I'm busy downloading something in the background. Oh. Dominion or, or, or um, Divinity? No, Dominion. The website is like loading very slowly. Oh. Okay, I'm just going to quickly do some audio testing. So, audio the, testing. Audio testing. Okay, this is just a quick snap, snap audio test. Um, going to be playing some Dominion tonight, so everyone just give us a moment to test our audio. Yes. It does not appear like there's audio coming through yet. No audio yet. Testing. Silent, but deadly. I wonder. I can hear audio. Um, testing audio one, two. Okay, so there is something coming through there. Boost this a little bit. You do seem a little softer to me, if I had to guess. But yes. Busy downloading, busy watching the things. Dominion still hasn't loaded all the images properly yet, but it, it, it's, it's, it's okay, working. Okay, okay, hang on. So there we go, now we're getting it. We are loud and clear. Mm-hmm. We are uh, very much loud and clear, and I'm back to one-to-one -to -one time with you, Dylan. Apologies. Mm. Um, no, yes, our audio is nice and crisp. Nice and crisp. Good, good. Yes. Good, good. Um, so, there is actually... Let me just quickly see something here. Uh, I just want to quickly log in here. Apologies for a little bit of background noise. Apparently, there's a racetrack in front. Anyway, um, uh, have you started a table? You have. Wonderful. Yes, yes, I did. Let me just briefly get everybody on board. Uh, hey, we've got Matt lurking. Hello. My brother-in-law. Oopsie. Okay, and then I just want to invite people to the stream. I wonder if, if Philip's game moved. <laughs> if we'll get to Philip tonight. Uh, no. He, he, it appears it's, it's a double game to, uh, this week. Oh, wow. Hmm. At least if I... If, 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 if I'm going off of the... The people in uh, the Discord. Yeah, good point. For those who are unfamiliar, we we were talking about our our Discord for our um, club, our gaming club, our RPG club that we run. Yeah, it's mostly we play Golden Logo Dungeons screen. and Dragons. <laughs> mostly we play Dungeons and Dragons, but we play other game systems too. Uh, Call of Cthulhu, Starfinder. And uh, Shadow of the Demon recently Lord. Shadow of the Demon Lord. <laughs> oh, and Traveller. Oh, nice. yeah, Traveller has been getting so much feedback recently. A nice, a nice, a nice uh, uh, bevy of different RPGs that we're, we're uh, playing, and we play board games. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Uh, I'm just sending out that message to all the channels. Awesome. 
where is my Discord? It is right over here. And then there's not that many people in there. Devarian and Philip. Interesting. Starbound. What is the Starbound to JPEX channel? What? I, don't worry about it. I'll figure it out later. Announcements. Add to guild members. Bam. Okay. Awesome. Oh. Oh, I see it there. Mm. That, I don't know. It, I don't know. I don't know. Right. I, uh, didn't, I didn't make it. Um, if you didn't make it, that means that... Either one of the it. other offices, one of the other offices did, or it's a, a mystery channel. <laughs> it's yesterday is history, tomorrow's a mystery, today is a present. It is a gift. No, sorry. The, yes, that's why it's called the present. But mm -hmm. yes, but well I, done. I fucked it up. Uh, <laughs> right. So let me get everything going. So we actually, the way we do this is very low effort. And so mm. I was, I asked, Dylan, I asked you like an hour ago, hey, what do you want to play? What's on special? Hey, the minute mm. Divinity 2 is, d d what? Uh, Divinity Original Sin is on special. Original number, Sin. Number two. Yeah. And um, yeah. it's like, hey, yeah, just grab a copy for each of us, but it hasn't finished downloading. So now we're just going to shoot the breeze and play some Dominion. Uh, let me just transition the screen so you can see my screen. Kablam. Okay, ready when you are, Dylan. I am ready. I also have my board game arena license still active, so. Oh yeah, we could try something there. Bum 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 bum. Start game. Mm. Ah. Yes, start game is. I mean, this is a stock standard base game, so nothing too weird. Yep. Right. Dominion, the game with the most wide variety of art styles. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. It's like a, a mixed media cartoon, like oh yeah, um, like who killed who who framed Roger Rabbit and <laughs> Amazing World of Gumball and the regular show mixed media art styles. Oh, the regular show wasn't actually that mixed media. The regular show, yeah, that wasn't that much. Uh, there was another. There was another. Really, anyways, it doesn't matter. <laughs> so lots of interesting things come out of mixed media definitely uh right so hang on my brain is needing to process uh i've got three copper what do i want to do with this shit uh you get a harbinger a chapel or a cellar or a silver harbinger's cellar is always one action or a curse a, cur a curse is free no <laughs> no it's gonna be enough of those soon I will get myself. Oh. I'll get myself a poacher. A poacher. Uh, right, so. Uh, Autoplay treasures up to four. Then I'm going to grab myself. Uh, now, since we're playing a calmer game, I can actually open up my left screen. Um, uh, and monitor the stock markets. Kind of. Uh, <laughs> I want to follow up on a few things that I recently heard. Here we go. Okay, so now I'm up to four, and then I'm going to get myself. You got a poacher. They don't really. They do good. Empty stockpiles start hurting you. Smithy. I'm going to get a smithy. So. The latest, well, from f that, that I have sort of on my radar is the entire Project Black Flag. Um, ah, yes. Interesting thing for me is, I mean, it's called Project Black Flag, meaning that there's mm. actually going to be a, um, uh, a different name for it eventually. I mean, D&D &D 5 was D&D &D Next until it came out. Mm. Speaking of D and D mm -hmm. projects and what comes next, the newest UA for one D and D is out and uh, available for playtesting. Oh, really? For for one D and D? Yeah. Nice. We haven't looked at that. It is the it is the druid and paladin class for oh, the right. new for the new one uh, D and D, and I um, 
watched others review it and for the most part people have mixed feelings overall paladin people are okay uh, with paladins changes and very very angry uh, angry uh, uh, let's just say very very strongly opinionated about a druid i personally mm. kind of like the changes to druid only because I'm a DM, and I have to deal with Moon Druids. Now, the subclass that did come out with the playtest is the Moon Druid subclass specifically. Uh-huh. I see it too. And the, the big gripe, if you boil it down, if you really reduce it down, you know, take a long time in the frying pan to reduce it down, the big issue, mm-hmm. I think, with the Druid version in 1D&D D is... Your hit points are your hit points. You don't gain uh, a magical extra 40 hit points when you wild shape. Oh, nice. Um, And so people are like, why would you ever wild shape if you don't get an entire extra person I don't know, all the other million reasons why you'd wild shape in the beginning. For, it's frustrating playing with druids as a GM, for me at least, in my mm. neck of the woods, along with you. It's because the people either play, people play druids basically to play a moon druid and basically to just be amazing in fights. Yeah, to be unkillable. Nigh unkillable because they can have just unlimited amounts of hit points, essentially. Yeah. Well, they... not unlimited, but so much so that you basically have to make a, a fight, mm. TPK a party yeah. just down the druid. Yeah. yeah. And you have to artificially have creatures focus the druid just to handle the druid. Um, now, I'm not saying that the way they've handled the druid is better or that I dis- purely, totally dislike the druid in 5th edition. <laughs> I just felt that the criticisms that po- some people were like immediately like having uh, hands in the air, like throwing toys at the cot reactions to the way the new druid works is a little unfair. Where did you see this, First, this feedback? Um, I'd like to keep my sources private for now. <laughs> okay. Mostly just because it was only one really video that I watched. Ah. Um, but I did go and like read through it myself and did my own comparisons. And here's one thing that the particular video I watched neglected to mention, which I feel is maybe just an oversight because it was just a, it was a first impression video. It wasn't like a, a deep dive into the UA content. It was just a first impression. And what they neglected to keep into consideration is that the base druids, not the moon druid, the base druids wild shape at 8th level only ever reaches CR1 beasts. Mm. This is not for 5th edition. Did, yeah, this is 5th edition. Now, I did something. I went and I looked at all the available CR1 creatures. Mm. And there are beasts. That are beasts, all the CR1 beasts and lower. Um, and the highest, the highest AC I could find was an AC of 16. Hmm. There were a few monsters that I did not have access to, but for the most part, the highest AC I could find was AC 16. Because that's another thing that was like... So the way the wild shape works in the UA is you have three different beast stat blocks that you can pick from. One that is the, the, la- the land beast... One that is uh, or animal of the land, animal of the sea, and animal of the sky. And then yeah, obviously yeah. you get access to them at higher levels because that's how it, wild that, shape... It currently works, yeah. Currently works, is that uh, at different levels you gain access to a swim speed and a fly speed. But the, the stat blocks for the animals you can shapeshift into work the way the other newer stat blocks from 5th edition do for like the... Uh, Artificers um, Steel Defender. It's a stat block that increases based on your stats. Yeah. It's a generic. It's a generic, uh, all-encompassing animal that you then just flavor however you want. That's nice. So, the big thing people were saying is that the hit points in this animal form are still your hit points. I see here. It says. Hit points. You continue to use your hit points and hit dice. 
Yeah. And everyone was very upset about that. I'm but <laughs> if, if you ignore that, for just leave that to be, because that's an entire can of worms, mm -hmm. which I have already sort of opened, but we'll leave it be. The rest of the stat block is actually very in par with a base druid from 5th edition. Ignoring the broken shenanigans of the moon druid, the base druid at 8th level can only ever reach a CR1 creature, and their AC can at max be 16 based on the monsters that I found in uh, official D&D. Yeah, but with this way of doing it, if one D&D is way of doing it, uh, even if you're not moon druid, your animal shape shifting, your wild shape will, will scale a bit better. It will scale a bit better. It will because also it's, it's, it's AC is 10 plus your wisdom modifier. I see. That's yeah. not... A bad wisdom modifier. Well, depending on what animal of the sky is, eight plus wisdom modifier. Yeah, but I mean, it's it's yeah, like yeah. it's just a thing of they neglected to compare this these stats blocks to existing stat blocks for beasts you can turn into as a base druid. It felt like everyone was immediately going, but a moon druid can be basically, you know, mega mega tough, and that is true. But it is also a problem. So I really like this change, personally. I'm not saying it's perfect. I feel it needs... It can it can combat, do with a bit of polish. I mean, I'm not going to read the entire thing in detail now, but I see Combat Wild Shape here still has... Um, when you're in Wild Shape, you can cast any spell you currently have prepared from, the, from a specific school, which is Abjuration, which is going to be Protection. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Um, provided it doesn't require material components. That's cool. And in um, Quick Attack, uh, you can use an unarmed strike as a bonus action. Oh, wow, nice. Also, you get um, uh, Swift Transportation. You can use the Wild Shape as a bonus action. Oh, Transformation, sorry. As a bonus action. Or yeah. Magic Action. Interesting. Yes, they've, they're defining a lot of things as magic actions these days, which is a very, very cool idea, I personally think, because if you define something as a magic action, then a, a, a thing like a counter spell might stipulate that you can counter a magic action, mm. Yeah, which is a very nifty rule change I am looking forward to seeing. Yeah, that's like a, but, another version of, of Pathfinder's Extraordinary and Supernatural monikers. Mm. So, to keep it brief, because we're, we're it, it will be an entire video to delve into the UA <laughs> specifically. Yeah. They've they've incorporated a few things into the wild shape that you couldn't previously do, mm -hmm. and specifically with the the circle of the moon subclass that was provided in this, they've given you the ability to cast spells while in wild shape. Granted, it's only spells from the Abjuration School, but all of the healing spells are now moving from Evocation to Abjuration in one d Which makes a lot more sense. And it's, in my opinion, if you consider also the way they're um, designing the classes, so Wild Shape is part of your Channel Nature ability, as they're calling it. And you can either channel a Wild Shape, ch channel Healing Blossoms, or channel a Wild Companion. So it's essentially just a, another way to use your channeling ability for this particular class. And I absolutely love that it's essentially opening the door for these channels to be a mechanic for the whole class to use. And then for each subclass to essentially say... Here's your extra special thing you can do with your channel or in your wild shape or, you know, and it's just a different mentality. And then because it's in the priest group, the druid, the paladin and the cleric all are in the priest group and they all get this channeling feature. You can then have feats or magic items that buff anything in the priest group and anything that you like, you can if a tunable by a priest increases mm. number of channels. It's an it's an incredibly useful way to design the mechanics so that you can make things modular. 
Yeah. But that's just my take on it. No, no, I agree. I mean, I have, I'm again, I'm not going to go into the finer details of reading it now, but the language, the, the compatibility level, but still a language change, does show that there's quite a level of competence behind creating it. Look, beyond everything what happened earlier this year and still is kind of on the table for whatever reason, um, I'm still looking forward to what the Indians and what it might bring. I am too. I, I think that people are going to have a very harsh and fine tooth approach to anything Wizards of the Coast puts out now. And like I say, yes, people are, when they think of Druid in 5th edition, they think of extra hit points when you're wild shape. Anyone who's um, like become slightly familiar with 5th edition are, is aware that the Druid gets a bunch of extra hit points when it wild shapes. It gets an entirely new set. An entirely new set. Mm -hmm. But actually, I want to do this. I'm going to do this while on stream. Mm -hmm. I, I don't recall Druids being able to wild shape in second edition at the very least in second edition. i'm not sure about i'm not sure about 3.5 uh, and fourth edition let me go get my book i'll be right back cool cool i'm going to meanwhile uh bring up good uh let's do let's do second edition well i i know that second edition that it couldn't uh wild shape Druids were just another type of spellcaster back then. I think that, yeah, essentially they had na nature spells, which is, I don't know, Druid, uh, second edition, not Pathfinder, Opa. Druid 2E. Okay, so I've got my second edition uh, ah, yeah. D&D book here, so I can mm -hmm. also yes. help reference. Alrighty, alignment. <laughs> Chapter, combat, money and equipment, proficiencies, mm. player, character, classes. So there's, there's core classes and then they expand. Druid is a subclass of the priest, uh, priest main class. So 35. This is going to be very interesting. Okay. Because so druid um, mm. ability require that you you level into being a druid um, as mm. you um, from priest. So mm -hmm. what happens is you you choose the class priest, um, and then from priest you have to level outward. Oh, hang on, priest, druid. Oh, hang on. Hang on, hang on. Experience levels. Okay, so the priest is a, a, there's a priest main class, and then in there is the cleric and the druid. The druid is sort of adjacent. Requirements: wisdom twelve, charisma fifteen. Prime requirements is wisdom and charisma. Um, races allowed: half a human and half elf. That's it. Anyway, um, granted powers. Ooh, that's a full page druid. Okay. Arch druids, great druids, druid organization. The Grand Druid and Hierophant Druids ethos. I don't really go into what that is. Hmm. Let me go check if there's another book. Cool, cool. Meanwhile, uh, the from a quick internet search, the Druid from 3.5 gains Wild Shape at uh fifth level um wild shape one per day at fifth level at fifth level a druid gains the ability to turn herself into a small or medium animal and back again once per day the options for new forms include all creatures with the animal type this ability functions like the alternate form special ability except as noted here the effect lasts for one hour per druid level or until she changes back changing from animal or back is a standard action and doesn't provide an attack of opportunity. Each time you use Wild Shape, you regain lost hit points as if you had rested for a night. Any gear worn or carried by the druid melds into the new form and becomes non-functional 
When the druid reverts to a true form, any objects previously melded into the new form reappear in the same location of the body and they previously occupied and are once again functional. Any new items worn in the assumed form fall off and land at the druid's feet. The form chosen must be that of an animal the druid is familiar with. The druid loses the ability to speak while in animal form because she is limited to the sounds that a normal untrained animal can make. The druid can use this ability more times at 6th, 7th, 10th, 14th and 18th level as noted on the table. The druid, in addition, she gains the ability to take the shape of a large animal at 8th level, a tiny animal at 11th, and a huge animal at 15th. The new forms hit dice can't exceed the character's druid level. At 12th level, the druid becomes able to use wild shape to change into a plant creature. Okay, I'm back. Couldn't find anything specific. What did you find? No, I've been looking at... Uh, the the 3.5 druid, and 3.5's druid did get wild shape, um, and I don't know enough about 3.5 to know how the animal would look, how the animals, like the beast's stat blocks worked, but uh, they say that if each time you wild shape, you regain lost hit points as if you had rested for a night. That's pretty powerful, but also they only got their wild shape at 5th level. The closest I can see here, I mean, but I'm not experienced at all in second edition, is shape change, and that's a wizard only spell, and it's able to, it's, yeah. I don't know. <laughs> but so, all I'm trying to say is mm. wild shape as we know it in fifth edition hasn't always been around. Mm. And it hasn't always been as powerful as it is now. No, it has definitely not. The and 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 it's it, there's been a lot of power creep so much so that um due to just popular culture's fascination with it i blame anamorphs <laughs> on my generation um wow okay interesting sure um i like them no no i read my fair share of anamorph books but i i mm, no go uh, for but, it. but i mean even in the even, even in the D D movie trailers the way the druid drop wild ships um so quickly into such a high level thing is people like raised eyebrows, but I mean, it's a movie. Chill. Yeah, it's a movie. Here's the thing though. Here's the thing. The, you can make arguments left, right and center about, first of all, an owlbear isn't a beast. It's a monstrosity. So you can't turn into it. Second of all though, Arguing that the way the stat blocks work now is just because of the movie is wrong. Because this, the way the uh, stat blocks for the one d d play test work are that they are just a generic animal and you can flavor it however you want. It literally says in the description that it can be any blend of animals you like. And so you like, can be an owl bear. I like this because then, you know... Uh... Okay, but do you do you do you have to take this sort of like preset stat block thing and apply it to an existing monster, and to get that because it depending. But my question is this: so, for example, uh, a, a giant lizard, right, mm -hmm. has the swallow action. Yes, I mean that's one of the reasons why you'd want to take different. Uh, wild so beasts. yeah, no, you don't gain all of the other cool features from specific animals. You just get this generic stat block and then it has whatever cosmetic features you like. Ah, okay. Yeah, I can see why that would be, uh, why would that would upset some people because... But this opens the doors for specific druid subclasses being able to gain extra abilities. No, no, definitely. It's a, it's a more modular, better way of approaching it. Um, it is a bit But more... again, I'm, I'm not saying that it's perfect. Oh, yeah, no, no. I, no. Just, I just really like what i like about the approach what i what i really liked about the uh, 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 the current druid wild shape is that you could you did have druids that were willing to take the cre to to change into creatures that makes that, that that are useful you know it's not yes it's for my, it's it's to solve problems in other words turning into uh there's a great scene in in, in um there's a great scene in uh the glass cannon podcast in their first campaign where they mm -hmm. Where they they started fighting fighting something that that was really just giving them a lot of trouble, and they were going to snuff it. They were, and they the wizard couldn't teleport everyone out, and he also couldn't reach the. They were already quite high level, so they had teleportation magic, 
um, he couldn't mm-hmm. get to the druid in time. So the druid just turned into uh, like a ladybug and, you know, flew away. And that's something that, and obviously, mm. that's not 5th edition rules. That's not a beast that get at me, but I mean, it's different. So it's or something like that. Basically, so a small creature that could just get away. Um, mm. You know, that's nice mechanic as well. And I've had um, White Blue Mountain uh, when I've run White, not White Blue Mountain, um, Forge of Fury. One of, at least mm. one time I ran that. Players circumvented certain traps by by um, uh, by, by having to do a change into a, a spider and wall walk, you know, have a, a climb speed. Just okay, so here's something that you're not going to like then. I, I, I do agree with you on this point. I'm not and saying I it's f- perfect, but in those, there, there are cases where it's nice. I, I, I agree. I really like that it's essentially a utility. It's a toolkit. But here's where that particular scenario you've just described falls apart in the playtest material. Oh, yeah. You can only become a tiny critter at 11th level. Oh, wow. How does that make a lot of sense? I think that needs to just be revisited in some way. It is, I think, exactly because of what oh. you just described. But, I mean, the way it's written now, you could get a moon druid, but now you could get, like, I don't know, a sun druid. And then you can get, like, instead of beasts, you get access to insects. As an or example. something like that. But Because that sounds awesome. Then you're a type of druid that specializes in smaller creatures. And also, also, your, your wild shape is now based on the number of channel natures you get. So you get an, a max number of channel natures, which are usable in different ways. It's just a more modular approach. And I do think it needs work. The, the Druid specifically, I do think needs a little work. Um, Paladin also has a few ifs, but I actually think that the Paladin is quite nice. Um, but the... The approach of making things modular in this way so that the subclasses can be, you know, very unique in their own right is a really great way. And the the interplay of potentially multi-classing is interesting. But there was a point I wanted to make. I forgot so what it was. Yaku now. says, um, would Tank Wild Shape not make more sense as a barbarian subclass? That's actually not a bad uh, point. Um, in uh, in other role playing games, especially the the, the it, entire in su- other role playing game settings, uh, the entire idea behind um, being able to change into another creature and take a big mm-hmm. punch is sometimes with 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 barbarians and, and barbarians moving away a bit from from the from you know druids in contemporary druids in fifth edition. If mm-hmm. that makes any sense. Um, mm-hmm. Uh, the uh, a lot of there's a lot of you could argue overlap in society of druid and, and barbarian. So, for example, mm. the barbarians in Diablo three, for example, having them have the ability to change shape into another thing, isn't that uncommon? Um, you can sometimes take uh, to take aspects of certain beasts and stuff on. And I mean, so, uh, the, I think to some extent, some of the barbarians already have that sort of like slight change where they get. Uh, claws and stuff, or I can't remember. It's been a while since I've built a barbarian in the fifth edition. Yeah. yeah, no, there are some barbarian classes that do have that best bestial aspect mm-hmm. to them, and it 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 is a very cool flavor. the The nice thing here is I remember what point that I wanted to make. It's that the wild shape now the creatures maintain your mental stats for the most part, I see, yeah. but when you wild shape, you can talk. Oh what? <laughs> you can talk as your as an animal now in your wild shape. Yeah, you can talk. That's a nice change. <laughs> and then obviously with the moon, the moon druid subclass specifically, you gain access to abjuration spell casting while in your wild that's, shape. That's okay. So now, it, now it, I, I was wondering about it because they, they, it said there in the in the errata that the um, or in the playtest material that you can cast any spell abjuration as long as it doesn't have any material components. And so the other nice thing is that if you look at these um, generic stat blocks these uh, for the animal of the land, sea, and sky, 
It says there for the animal of the land specifically, strength and dex equal your wisdom score. Not your modifier, your score. So if you have a 16 wisdom, which is very easily achievable, you just automatically as an animal of the land have a strength 16 and a dex 16. And then constitution, intelligence, wisdom, and charisma use your current scores. And that is just so clever because now there is benefit because one of the other things that everyone was saying about the sh wild shaping there, is that there's no benefit to it. But if you know you need to make a dex save and you have a poor dex or make a strength check and you have a poor strength, wild shape into a bear and then suddenly your strength is equal to your wisdom, which might be your highest stat. Hmm. Yeah, I see here. There's a bit of swap around. It doesn't affect your uh, attacks because the generic stat blocks use uh, your spell attack modifiers for the attacks and your wisdom modifier for the damage. Um, but it is it is still a very, very useful toolbox. Hmm. It is essentially now a set of tools in say, instead of a... a a broken mechanic of infinite hit points. Yeah, but I mean, at twentieth level, a moon druid actually has infinite hit points because you also, at some point in fifth edition, just get infinite wild shapes as a moon yeah. druid. it's gonna be so hard to kill the uh, uh, druid. I, I I do like that I that the, the entire idea behind magic action. I'm curious. I'm I'm honestly more curious to see just the actual core rules. The classes is. Hmm. That's extra for me. What's the core engine? You know, show us the the engine, because you're mm. skirting around it right now. I hate, uh, I, not hate, but I dislike sort of like learning it through osmosis currently. Mm. But I mean, that's a nitpick, not a problem. Ooh, bureaucrat. But yeah, I um I kind of like the the fact that they did pick it up again. Um, and I am. Planning to leave a review this time around. <laughs> I forgot. I did a review for the first two, but I didn't do a review for the cleric class. Mm. So I am looking forward to seeing what comes next. <laughs> Kidokles, let's have a look here. Um, Smithy? Also... Paladin, the they changed the way Divine Smite works. There's no cap on the number of Divine Smites. Uh, you can Divine Smite with any weapon and on uh, and on an unarmed strike, but you can't crit with your Divine your Divine Smite anymore. Fucking hell, <laughs> that's not a bad thing. Yeah, me. Yeah. I, I I I like the balancing that's happening. Interesting so also that the starting equipment contains the priest's pack. It's nice. Oh, mm, I like it. Priest pack has been a thing in fifth edition, though. It's yeah, just yeah, never know, chosen it's... because it's got very little useful in <sighs> stuff in it. It's got it's got soap in it. The priest's pack has soap in it. Of course, you have to be. Clean. What adventurer I'm will clean. ever use soap? I'm clean. <laughs> Uh, Are these classes supposed to be play tested with 5e? Yes, they're meant to be backwards compatible. Yes. All the all the one D and D play test stuff is meant to be backwards compatible, um, and so you're meant to play test them at the same table with, with the, other classes from fifth edition. Yeah. It. It. Uh... The idea is that the new D&D &D will, re the core engine will replace 5th edition's core engine, but then you, you don't have to rebuy all your books if you still want to play, I don't know, Wild Beyond the Witchlight, which you bought for 5th edition. You don't have to go mm -hmm. and rework the entire adventure. You can just use the base book as is and play with the current rules. I'm just going to quickly fetch something again. I'm really up and down. Apologies. No worries. I I want to I want to personally I I plan to play test one D and D once there is 
a, a class in each of the three or four, I think it's three major like class groups that they've put out. So they've put out the expert classes, which is the the rogue, ranger, and bard, which are part of the expert group. And now they've done uh, the the priest group. Next is just the um, spellcaster group. Once at least one class from each group has been put out, I would love to try and run a uh, a purely one D D session because I feel these classes will work best with each other and not with other classes from fifth edition because some of them are more powerful in certain circumstances and others specifically the moon druid are less powerful but it is a case of uh, there is no there is no uh vtt that currently supports one dnd as far as i'm aware uh it would have to be something i'd run in person and then i'd have to print all the PDFs and get everyone to make their character in person. It would have to go all the way back to genuine old school pen and paper. I have not personally play and tested back. any of them yet. Um, so we've not but, really had the time. <laughs> yeah, but uh, like I said, I was just telling the chat that I I want to um, I want to once once a class from each of the major class groups has been released because now they've done experts and now, and priests. It's just the spellcasters left. I want to try and play test uh, one D and D, but purely one D and D because I think they, that they will these classes will play best with each other and not with other classes from current fifth edition. Interesting. Well done, Dom. You won. Right. Is your divinity two downloaded? It is downloaded. Then let's give that a go. I'll quickly update the the um, stream information. Because um, oh, oh. that's what we actually wanted to do. <laughs> <laughs> Try and figure that out. While um, you update the stream, I've been doing a lot of talking. I'm going to grab a drink. No worries. I've got my coffee. So, yeah, what we... Divinity Original Sin is something we wanted to play. I mean... Baldur's Gate, we've, Baldur's Gate 3 is something we're obviously going to play when it comes from, out fully. Um, why, there we go. Uh, definitive Edition. Let's give it a run. Let's give it a run and see how it goes. So, yeah, that's what we're doing. Honestly, the talk about the, the anything with 1D&D &D is, is, is a bit, bit bittersweet, obviously, but... It's, oh my good lord, why would you create that there? <laughs> Fine. Yes, I know. <laughs> I've got this problem with my, not a problem, it's just the way computers are set up right now. My my documents folder contains, it is in my OneDrive, and if I leave my OneDrive running whilst playing certain games like Blood Bowl or apparently Div Divinity, do you mind, you piece of shit computer? Um, <laughs> it's when I launch Divinity now, it it uses the same launcher as Baldur's Gate, Baldur's 3. Gate Three. Yep. I can now launch them both from the same launcher. <laughs> yep. I, however, am stuck. Uh, I need to try and. Okay, probably not going to be able to hear you because music. Oh no! Well, that wasn't too bad. Do you mind, computer? I know, yeah, I know you can't create a folder there. Would you mind allowing me to get into my own goddamn computer so I can correct the fucking issue? Jesus. Let's computers, rage, Pause. technology. For eight hours. There we go. Arg. <laughs> yeah, nah. I have the same problem with Bold, with with um Blood Bowl three. Ah, oh, sorry, Blood Bowl two, where um mm -hmm. it it. It stores files in in sort of a, a running directory in my mind, my documents. Then that's normal. Mm -hmm. But my entire my documents is permanently being backed up to my OneDrive because I like mm -hmm. having my files freaking everywhere. It just make, makes my life mm -hmm. simple. Um, mm -hmm. But if some programs don't get the don't get the priority in OneDrive ready, so they can't create files there. So yeah. Mm -hmm. Anyways, let's try that again, shall we? 
Uh, no, I don't want to pre-order anything. Launching Definitive Edition. Can't create. Mm -hmm. hmm. Can I change where it wants to create these folders? Because this is ridiculous. <laughs> Shame. I can't launch the game. Audio. I just need to drop the audio down. Apply. Excellent. Okay, so task manager there and Divinity Original Sin gone. Right, so now let's try that again. Ah, humbug. Freaking hell. Let's have a look at this. Settings. Uh, well, there are no All the settings. There are no settings in here. No, oh, you have to create a profile first. Yeah, but why would I need to create a profile? Can you change? Uh, anyways, I don't know. I created a <laughs> profile and then I just dropped the volume. Oh, for the volume? No, no. I'm trying to, I'm trying to uh, do something else. Let's see. Uh, this should be here. Login. Nice. Account. Edit my account. Yeah, yeah. Am I now logged in? Account. I am logged in. I can't change. Logged in, people. <sighs> Bloody oh, hell. your installed gift bags. Beauty salon. Be who you want to be. This gift bag widens the selection of face types and hairstyles for every race and gender in the game. This new content is applied automatically and available immediately. <laughs> Find your new look in the character creation or through magic mirror in the game. Ah, here we go. Song of Nature. Oh, what have we here? This gift bag is full to the brim with treasures that will revamp God, the way you experience to me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying my desperate, desperately to focus on create, getting a goddamn folder created and you're giving me Bilbo Baggins. Right, okay. Let's... Yeah, I'm vamping so that you don't... You can, <laughs> you can focus and I can keep the chat entertained. Oh, fair enough, fair enough. Let's quickly close a whole bunch of things. Okay, let's close that. Let's close this. Let's close that. Let's close this. Uh, Larian Studios, Launcher, Play. Larry Launcher. Larry Launcher, yes. Well, it's apparently... Launchers Larrys. Launchers <laughs> Larrys. <laughs> I, it seems to be... Thank right. you. Thank you, Jerry, man. <laughs> okay, wait, hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay, I think, I th I th I th I think I've got it now. Steam. Yeah. <laughs> Divinity, there we go. Did you say Larry, man? Jerry man, oh, Jerry, Jerry man. Jerry man Sorry, my says, brain just replayed. I was very entertaining. My uh, my brain went Yes, it, I was saying that the Larry launcher launches Larry's. Uh, it's like the Nebelwerfer. Have you seen the Nebelwerfer? No. Hang on. <laughs> I'll find the image. I'll swap the screen over in a second. Uh, no. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> you have to... You have to you have to appreciate the double laugh. <laughs> I'm worried now. <laughs> uh, it's a German. Is... It's a German weapon from, uh, I think this. Yeah, it's from the Second World War. It's a German weapon. It's like uh -huh. a. It's a. It's a multi-barreled cannon, um, uh -huh. a mortar basically, but it shoots big shells. And, uh -huh. um, <laughs> hang on, it's so entertaining always to say this is a Neville Werfer. What does it do? It verfs nevels. <laughs> 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 because that's what it means. Nebel verfer means to ma to 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 throw a nebel, whatever a nebel is. But yes, this is a nebel verfer. It's on the stream. <laughs> I'm more interested in seeing what the nebels are. Oh, the nebels are just large shells. Ah, okay. Um, I'm disappointed. Yeah, it's a, it's war. <laughs> At some point, everything just has to explode, and it's the the, the fun game stops. No, um, I was ima I was imagining these short oh. gnomish people with pointy hats. <laughs> no, it's not a gnome thrower. <laughs> Christ. Okay, hang on. Sorry, uh, the stream might go a bit wonky for a split second because it needs to recode the stream from my capture card. There we go. It should be fine now. Just gonna lock my mouse to the main screen. Well, there we go. Okay, so on a 
talk I've I've the closest I've come to playing Divinity Original Sin is actually Baldur's Gate 3. Mm -hmm. Um but I am aware that this is nice. <laughs> Wait, no, that's not true. I have played Divinity Original Sin 1. Mm -hmm. Um but that's not to say I'll be any good at playing Original oh, Sin. Oh yeah, and 2. you can game master this actually, which is kind of interesting. Yes. Um, yeah, you can create like your own games and stuff if i'm not mistaken so yeah, you can prepare a campaign or play the main campaign as the game master <laughs> this feature by the way is coming to Baldur's gate 3 if the rumors are but to be believed why does the sun god have a sun god here have a medusa baby i don't know why is there a medusa baby i don't know okay right anyway so let's go to story uh multiplayer Oh dear. Yes, multiplayer, I'm there too. Do I need to recreate an account now? Sorry, it just pop, popped me back to... Oh dear. Local chat will be available as soon as you join party. Oh, there we go. Party okay. level. Any difficulty? Online. Wow, there's a lot of games going. Why are there so many Russians yeah, playing this? Yeah. Um, I thought... No, Dominic. Anyway, um, Hodor's lobby. Uh -huh. Lol. Okay, so oh, we can land this. That's fun. Anyway, uh, friends only for now. Direct connect. Uh, not for Enter IP address. No, I think we're going to create a game. Yeah, let me see what we can do with creation. There's a skeletal dude. Is he? I want to play that one. I want to be a skeleton. He's a. So he's a. Don't worry about freaking body fat. Or fat, period. Or fa <laughs> well, you still have to worry about fat. It burns. So <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to see if I can invite you. Invite failed. Uh, is it... okay. Oh, visibility is set to nobody. Can I, can, can I directly invite you? View. Is my... What the hell? Your your original sin is experiencing original issues. Ah, my Steam is not fully signed in. That's a problem. Oh, I see now. You are playing original sin. <laughs> <laughs> Invite to watch. We might play together. Watch game. Connectivity. Number of slots. Classic mode. Yeah, probably classic mode. Um. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Okay, so I obviously screwed something up here. I'm going to go back one screen. Uh, everyone will be disconnected. Yes, it's just me. What the hell? <laughs> Aha! Okay. Arena Who's going to get there first? Aha, I sent you an invite first. Wonderful. <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> it's okay. I'll bring my buggy game to your game and just break everything. Yay. Run through walls. Mm. No clip. No clip. All around the map. Okay, well, there's nothing for me to change, so I'm just going to say, ready! And then it'll go I'm from there. ready to. Yeah, that OST uh, is launch. Coming. Yeah. I'm sure you've used some of the music in your games before with us. Um, no, actually. I, I know it's good music, but I, I, I don't really like using music for games that I haven't actually played, because then people... Who recognize the music ask me like oh have, have you, you played, played it this? and i'm like <laughs> no i just like the music it feels weird every welcome time welcome to character creation screen here you can uh you can select an or origin character or select a custom or create hero. a custom hero understood this lady has got an optimal amount of waste ah uh, sebel if i been midst what is this is this a a Beast. Oh, this one is standard characters. This isn't the Fane. Yeah, no. I want to use one of the origin characters, though, specifically the skeleton dude. His name is Fane. Okay, what was Sebel? Sebel is a corpse eater. Oh, oh that's feet. No! That's feet. No, no, you don't get to eat me. <laughs> <laughs> you're not a corpse. You're, you're overdue. <laughs> <laughs> I'm an overripe corpse. Uh, right, so... Is a slave no longer, you still have... Metamorph. 
you still made a living scar. What the living Angel. scar your master used to dominate oh. you. Uh, okay. he, tune, 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 assassin Which? made you hunt your own kin. Now you Zip. hunt him. Battle mage. Okay. Very. Origin. Conjurer. I don't know these classes well enough to know which one I'll enjoy playing. Or which which are strong and which are not. I like the look of the Inquisitor. Got a dwarf dude here. I have Battering Ram as Inquisitor. Battering Ram. Bloodsucker. Mosquito Swarm. Target consumes blood surfaces around them, restoring vitality. I like this feature. I remember this from Original Sin 2, although I don't think it was tied to a class, but yes. Ranger, Rogue, a dwarf. For a witch. I like the look of the witch as well. Chloroform, 12 to 14 magic armor, and then tries to set sleeping. Slet, set sleeping for one Slet sleeping, yes. A funny matey slet sloppy. Wait, hang on. You can change male and female on, on the thing. What happens when you do that with the skeleton dude? Um, <laughs> uh, hip hip size changes. I don't know. <laughs> I think I'm gonna go with Inquisitor. Oh, go. Custom it, it was the f custom human, custom lizard. <laughs> I can have a custom lizard. <laughs> custom that lizard. Custom an, it. An undead dwarf. Oh well, that's that's underwhelming. <laughs> <laughs> um, undead elf. Oh wow, you can get undead of kind of everything. I can be one of the origin characters and still change his appearance. That's cool. Yeah. And have a uh, very jeweled face. Uh, Semi-crystal flower face. A uh, very generic skull face. Um, can't talk properly face. Ooh. Very uh, metal face. Very edgy. Oh, oh, now that's steampunk if I ever did see it. Mm. Is it? Very distinguished old chap, yes. I honestly oh, like your, the oh, first one the wizard. most. Interesting. I can change his bone color. What class are you playing? Uh, an inquisitor. Battle mage. Nutmeg! I can change the color of my bone. I, uh, I really dislike nutmeg. Ivory, snow. I'm going to have snow bones! Oh, shit. <laughs> I need to update the stream information. Apologies, this is going to glitch out. Uh, transition, just need, just need to quickly update this stuff. Uh, edit stream info. Um, listen to us. Play. I want to have snow bones. Snow bones. What the hell, man? I um, can change my hair color too. <laughs> I think I'm going to go for Cooper hair. Harvestman hair, Jester hair, all these different hairstyles. I can see them flowing in the wind. My dude, you're a skeleton. <laughs> <laughs> a blacksmith hair. The hell is yes, blacksmith, blacksmith hair? blacksmith hair. <laughs> okay, so... Yvonne I can have a beard. Well, I think I'm just going to build my own human. Um, <laughs> build a human. Here we go. Oh my god, why do you have a mustache? <laughs> because I can. Bastard. Okay, cleric is, well, a cleric. So. Uh, human conjurer. Interesting. So that'll probably be fire magic. I think I'm going to go with the mustache. Uh, enchanter. That seems very druidic. Uh, what's this? A fighter. Nice. And yeah, no, I like the snow bones. We'll pro I mean, knowing this game, we'll probably get some allies along the way, right? I would imagine so. I don't know how, if, if... I mean, there's only one more slot here in our thingy, but that might mean that there's just one more... I have no idea. We'll see. Um... Yeah. Preset. I'm gonna go with something straightforward for now. So, oh, shit for Inquisitor. I think I'm not gonna change anything there. Talents. Genius. Okay, so. Talents determine a character's unique features. Select talents to complement a character's abilities and attributes. 
What's the benefit of I'm Inquisitor? I'm guessing you've got melee and some magic and... Uh... Yes, I start with uh, Battering Ram, Bloodsucker, and Mosquito Swarm. Battering Ram is a rush forward in a straight line to a designated point, hitting all enemies in my path with 32 to 35 physical damage and setting knockdown. And then knockdown is for one turn and damage is based on my basic attack and receives a bonus from my intelligence. I assume an Inquis like the... The, the Inquisition uh, of old. No one expects the Inquisition. Especially not when it has a handlebar moustache. No! <laughs> <laughs> Why my backspace not work? Okay. Okay, this window mm. is weird. Um... Mm. Oh, for Pete's sake. This game is weird. Screenshot. It pal. Oh. Far out, man. Increases the range of skills and scrolls by 2 meters. Or 2M at the very least. Does not affect melee and touch range skills. Okay, I'm ready. Tags. Under oh, tags determine what options are available to you in dialogue and how the world reacts to your party members. Custom characters have race, gender, and background tags. Origin characters have unique origin tags. Understood. Instruments. Take the lead in the music during the fights and we'll highlight various... I'm not going to fiddle with that now. I think I'm happy. I'm an inquisitor with a handlebar moustache. Beware! Playing as an undead poses unique risks and benefits. Undead must veil their true selves from the living or risk being attacked. <laughs> Whoops. Healing potions and spells will damage you. Well, oh, no. Poisons heal. Undead can pick locks with a bony finger alone and can survive the scourge of death fog. Confirm. Are you done with your character creation? Yes. I think I am. Oh, hang on. I just need to quickly check my talents. Um, if he doesn't have a Spanish accent, this is going to be very strange. Who you? Oh, you. <laughs> yes, he's probably going to have a, a very refined British voice actor. If I had to guess. But I want him to come across as si, senor. I kill now. No! <laughs> <laughs> Wafer bartering. Just want to quickly check check my warfare, and I I don't really want bartering as much. Oh, this is all their civil abilities. Um. Interesting. Um, so. Oh, yeah. I guess confirm. Fuck it. Uh oh, there's a little thing there. Your man looks like he's seen some stuff. He has. He's a noble. Uh, well, he was a noble. <laughs> Increase my persuasion a bit. So he's seen the inside of a lot of ballrooms. Yes, a lot of balls. Yes. Uh, likely they're finding extra treasure when you were looting stashed. <laughs> okay, confirm. Icky Uh, small changes, but yes, I am done. Oh wow, story. Story. Larian Studios presents. Interesting. A town. A gothic woman. Can the audience hear this? I think so, yeah. A single drop of sauce magic. <laughs> and like flies to honey, the monsters swarmed. The rebel panicked. The carnage began. Wow. The Magisters pointed their fingers at me. Just as I'd planned. That's a bit sneaky. I was shackled and collared. 
and sent to Fort Joy. <laughs> That's not a joyous place. Interesting. I'd come here to kill Godwoken. But instead, I became part of their story. Interesting. Yes, the audio does show up on the stream. So ah, the good, audience good, good. The audience good. is now death. <laughs> THX. The audience is now death. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Why am I in a torture rack? Let me go. I have new recipes learned. Don't worry. The sedative will wear off soon enough. Easy now. No need to hurry. Get your bearings and report to me upstairs. Okay, get my bearings. I'm half naked and strapped down. Where am I? I, 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 I don't know if this is me or you. <laughs> oh, I, 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 oh, there, that's me. You've got a very weird helmet, my dude. So it ah, yes. To dream after all. With a very nice voice for uh, someone of other voice box. <laughs> Grinning skull. <laughs> Click anywhere on the ground or hold left mouse button. Yes, yes, yes. Oh no, aren't you curious, shite? Hide my bones as well as yours. Maybe I'd still be walking around today. Oh, uh -huh, maybe. Game saved. Is there a. Whoa. Oh, is this. Oh, the grinning skull is asking me how, where I came upon the stuff that's concealing my face. Oh, I'm. Blue. Tell the skull to mind its own business. You're not here to chat with human detritus. Look at the skull inquisitively. Is it normal for human remains to talk? <laughs> boast, boast! You crafted it yourself using a tool to rip the faces from mortal creatures. I will, I will feign that I am human, or alive at least. Is it normal for human remains to talk? Oh shit. I just picked up a box. <laughs> a very, very big box. <laughs> this is not good. You, I'm sure you can drop it. I don't know how. Ah, the skull says that we are not normal. Of, dude, of course you're not normal. Walk about like you Oh, yes. I do have a sulky mortal voice. Thank you for noticing. Admit that your voice is something of a trick. Your words and tone are projected directly into the minds of others. Good lord. Boast that you can make others hear the voice you want them to hear. You are that powerful. <laughs> Ask the talking cranium if it knows what's happening on this ship. Is there a way to change the camera angle? How much uh, it's wanting to know? Yeah, it's it's essentially saying I'm a skull. I don't know nothing. Shaking her fluffy coat. Apparently, we're all sorcerers her heading to Fort Joy. We've all been arrested for some reason. With one sharp hoof, she kicks you right in the ship. <laughs> <laughs> just got kicked by sheep. Oh, congrats. Um, as long as you don't take the sheep with you. Oh no, fuck that. <laughs> I mean, so don't, no, I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to, I mean, never, you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> we can do battle here. You mean. Yes, we can. Battle Mancy is a big thing in, in the original Sim games. Okay. Basic camera control. Hold middle mouse button and move the mouse to rotate the camera. I can zoom see. In or, <laughs> zoom in or out using the mouse scroll up and, and mouse scroll down. Understood. Oh, uh, that was a tab button. That was the button I'm used to for highlighting objects. I need to know that button before I go any further because that is my favorite button in every game what I ever this? play. The button for highlighting objects. Yeah, why don't you learn it? Tell me. Controls. <laughs> Camera backwards, center, forward, left, right. A firm right, note rotate. written in a firm hand. What the hell? It's like a plank. <laughs> and action, context, menu, cycle, destruction. Highlight characters is grave, but that's not what you want. Place ping beacon, Q command, rotate left. 
No world tooltips is left alt. Alt. Aha! There's a bucket over here, apparently. Alt plate. Yeah, I'm I'm investigating this desk. Uh, it's empty. You, um... Uh, oh, I need uh, another item here. Let's I assume see. you've already you've already searched these boxes. Most and of them. I'm just barrel mancing my way through another room. A bucket with water. No, ah, it's a bucket. What is this a chicken coop? Yes, I will take the two eggs in the chicken coop. They're mine now. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> I searched a haystack, and the haystack tell said that I, I I'm I, I I'm not I'm not a haystack with a needle in it. What yes, I'm listening. Oh, what do you have? Knife. <laughs> no! <laughs> no! What you got over there? A knife! No! <laughs> Understood. Okay, I mean, there's oil over here. What does tab do? Come here. Tab. Tab puts you in and out to combat mode. Ah. That's what I was guessing, but I wasn't sure. I Old know. plate. Why is this a highlightable world tool to... Don't oh, well. know. Yeah, you can probably pick it up. How do I sneak? I think it's C. Right. Yes, you become a barrel. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> if you're out in the wilderness, you become a bush. This is something that is known for, uh, known in that Larian games. Is their sneaking is hilarious. I don't know why. There's another haystack. Tell me, do you have an evil? <laughs> One of these days, I'll find a haystack with a needle in it. Snort behind you as the snoring magister mumbles himself awake. One bloodshot eye opens, and then another. Ah, this door is locked. If you're able to combat highlights, the exit, press the uh... pick lock. Ooh, it's, it's, I'm busy picking the lock. It's busy being picked. It's the bar is filling. It's it's, and my thievery <laughs> level is too low. Is my shift over? Are you here to relieve me? You're no magister. You're a sorcerer. No, I'm not a sorcerer. No. no, I don't want to leave the tutorial deck. You are a sorcerer? Just don't let them know that. <laughs> Finesse persuasion. Uh, laugh and tell him one of the guards in the upper deck fell over. Um, you should check on uh, check it out. I found a minor healing. Something useful at last. I mean, eggs are useful, but only if you've got a frying pan. Oh, God. I also picked up a crate. Are you in a combat? Yep. I just picked up a crate. I'll be there now. <laughs> Fair enough. I've got a knife, so don't worry. Oh, this door locked. I can't join you, I think. I can try picking the lock. The bar is filling. The bar is filling. The lock picking is not I going to happen. My team level is too low. Well done. <laughs> no, not well done. Can I move his corpse around? No, I can't. This door just closed. The minute you started combat, now I can't join you. Which door? The door here, where I am. I don't know where you are. I can see you. Why can't you see me? I can see that you're slowed. Where are you? Here I am. That's... That, you need out. to put things... You need to put an item on the neck. Other, um, oh, I picked up plate. one of the crates you put down. You. I get it. <laughs> yes. I, I thought it was odd that there was a crate sitting there yes battlemancy i've been slowed it's because of all this oil no it's something else i'm not sure what it's the terrain surface that you're walking on okay. surfaces you've stepped on in oil oil surfaces can slow you down it can also be ignited thank you for that helpful tutorial i do wonder if there's a way inside there's a dude here, here. I'm gonna open this gate for this dude. Let's go, dude. Who are you? Pick the lock of this. The bar is filling, the bar is filling, the bar is filling, filling the bar. And unlock using your bony fingers. That's why I was trying, because I remember I read that I can pick locks with my bones alone. Oh, that's weird. Si, <laughs> senor. I can get in. Si, senor. My bony fingers are like skeleton key. No pun intended. What? Say your prayers while you you've brave to s speak them, lad. The hell awaits. And ah, oh, for fuck's sake! Oh wow! Yeah, you've got magic. 
Oh, ha, ha, that's oh, not good. man, are you being attacked again? You're gonna le out level me if you keep getting into fights without me. Oh lord, it's on fire. Yes, everything's on fire. I'm on fire. I'm hot. Fight for the first Dominic's time in life. Turn. I'm hot. Ah, I have joined the combat. Kidney shot. Uh, I've gotten more. No, I don't have enough. In turn, your turn. Ah, combat in Divinity Original Sin 2 is played in rounds. Everything you do combat, uh, uses action points. I have received uh, each round. Yes, understood. Uh, my f uh, From left to right, yes, that is the order of the characters. What I need to do is uh, travel Do you have anything there. ranged? I don't know yet. I don't think so. I'm busy coming towards you. Yeah. Ow. Jeez. I'm not in a good state. Oh, no, I'm fine. Oh, Sorry. No. Apologies. No, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. Um, I'm just on fire. <laughs> There's a... <laughs> right. Kidney shot. We're on a ship. It won't be very good if the ship catches on fire. Don't store oil next to the fucking hay. Anyway. He's dead. And his, his blood put out the fire. <laughs> Ah, yes. I can drink his blood through my feet now, I think. What? If I walk through blood surfaces, if I recall correctly. Why is it not activating? Where's this ability? <laughs> Play dead. Mosquito swarm. Blood sucker. Here we are. We the target can... Yeah. Wait. It's gone. Did I not get it to do it? I don't know. There you go. There it is. Um, okay. <laughs> and now... You can stop now! <laughs> Stop sucking what? the blood! <laughs> there we go. Oh, lockpicks. Well done. I'll give them to you. I can use them in conjunction with my fingers. Oh, there's a nice bait over here. <laughs> 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 Okay, hang on. Uh, there's another minor healing potion over there. Empty. Ah, wrong button. I'm going to have to change that button at some other stage. Beds. Using beds allow you to al allows wounded characters to heal over time. Okay, well. Uh, ooh, nice. this is this seems poisonous and dangerous. Poison. Uh huh. I'll need to burn this poison. Stand by. You have fire. I've got a Molotov cocktail. Ah, oh, very nice. Now it's burning. Yes. One more turn. One more turn. How long is a turn? Good lord. Here we go. Six seconds, probably. Maybe. I didn't worry about splinters. <laughs> Good thing, yes. I have no um, flesh, Look, so. I got a rug. Oh, he's a rug. Don't rug me. Don't rug me. What's this on the table? A card set. Complain cards! Yes! Ah, we managed to get back to the starting location. Nowhere to go but up. Yeah, now we need to go up. There's a good structure. Have we really explored everywhere down here? I, think I suppose so. we have. Alrighty. There's probably people who play this game and know super secret. Right, like. skeleton boy, you ready for your interview? If you search the haystack like five times, then it actually does reveal a needle, and it's the most powerful weapon in the game! It's, it's a, a um, vorpal needle. <laughs> <You've t> <laughs> Three hey. new journal updates, new characters. Yes. Looks like that collar fits you snugly enough. Nice. There you are. Not too tight, I hope. The collar, I'm uh -huh. Oh, not to worry. Every oh, to not too tight, I hope. Yeah, You're the one talking to her. I'm just listening in now. Yeah. Mm. Sorry. I just want to get that going. Okay. Continue. In the meantime, your next stop will be Magister William. All passengers have to be registered in the ship's manifest. And he's the chap in charge of the logs. You'll find him on the other side of this deck, in the officer's quarters. Okay, I'm noble. So now that you're up, now that you're up, you'd like to bathe and dine. Tell her to ring for the servants. <laughs> I'm gonna say that. <laughs> oh, 
dear. I'm afraid you're a long way from home, my lord. A long way from the little bells that make footmen come a-running. <laughs> come a-running. <laughs> Dex fingers pressed to her lips. She pauses a moment to give you a scrutinizing gander. That's a, a gander? Good lord. Gander. She's given you a goose. You look at the fiddle, don't you? Perhaps I was a bit too generous with that sedative. Oh, well, I'm sure you'll soon gather your wits. Most likely. Eventually. In the meantime, no, don't card on it. En route to Fort Joy. <laughs> Fort Joy, that's like fun. Awaits. And if you're a particularly good boy, perhaps a cure as well. An end to source. For good. Uh -huh, uh -huh. I think that many of the Divinity games have been trying to put an end to source. For good. <laughs> uh, oh, m mentioned that there was a little accident in a cargo deck. The prisoners Is did. He? Oh, well. Some problems simply sort themselves, don't they? Uh, I suppose. I, suppose I was there for the conversation you had with the prisoner, so I don't know. He was um, crazy. Basically ah, said, thank you enough. for letting me go. Now I'll spend your last breath praying. Okay. Okay, well, there's nothing more we need from her. Before we rob her. Mwahaha, <laughs> there's an ancient book here. Can I get that? Can I get ye ancient Oh, uh, why am I... St oh, no, stop listening now. Oh, okay, no. Uh, I keep pressing the wrong button. I'm used to pressing tab for Baldur's Gate yeah. 3. Oh, wow, there's a m been a murder here. Yeah, that was just because I entered combat by accident. No, I no, found no, a book. actually been a murder here. Oh! Oh, no! Let me come drink the blood! <laughs> yes, this is a rare kind of magic. I'll need to write to headquarters right away. Have a talk with her. Oh dear. <laughs> oh dear. <laughs> yeah, no, just let me get my sippy straw. Oh god. <laughs> <laughs> You're messing with the crime scene. How do I get it to stop? There we go. Have a talk. Go on, listen in. She says ugly sight, isn't it? Yeah, I can. I can listen. This happened under our protection. We're extremely lucky no void walk and followed the source that did this. Void Woken? I don't know that term. Inform her that she wasn't this man's protector. She was his captor. His Ask captor. why she's letting you so close to the crime scene. Yes. For all she knows, you could be the killer. <laughs> That's a very good question <laughs> to ask. Take your leave. <laughs> that little mustache face. <laughs> Excuse me, senor. I must ask you a question. <laughs> she looks up at you with a mirthless smile. I was on duty in your room when the murder happened. You were asleep the whole time. Oh dear. Didn't even stir. Mm -hmm. I'll let you do that. Let me know what happens there. I'm gonna quickly... Oh no. There are orphans. This boat is destined to die. A boat? You're one of the only indisputably innocent people on the ship unless you can commit murder in your sleep of course shrug say maybe you can you are a sorcerer after all tell her that's a trick you haven't quite mastered ask if she's investigating her fellow magisters as well one of them could have easily done this i think i'm gonna go with the one that uh, Im implies i haven't been able to master sleep killing yet I could use someone to keep ears on among the passengers. Sometimes they clean up in front of a uniform. Oops. Oh, new quest! Quest! I didn't say you'll let her know if you hear anything interesting. Rule prisoner. Say that you're no snitch. Laugh, she really thinks you'd help a magister, someone who's keeping you under lock and key. Tell her your price is considerably higher than that. Take your leave. I ain't no snitch now. Um... Oh. Hmm. There's some people here in the common room talking about the murder. It was one of us that's murdered. No, then say you'll and you'll you'll see to it. Ah, yes, I, I'm, I'll I'll get it done. You say there was talk murder in the common room. Most yes. suspicious. I'm speaking to Lord. <laughs> ah, there uh, you are. <laughs> Husband. Oh dear. Would you please 
tell this very charming gallery, ah. not all ah, flip. Okay. I am by no accounts this uh, Apparently, they don't like you trying to steal I'm from a crime scene. Allergical. <laughs> Shameless woman's beard. Please tell this very charming gaggle of not at all bright, <laughs> like babes that I'm no, by no accounts this loche woman nor do I sing in fact I'm deathly deathly allergic okay so she's trying she 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 she's basically trying to play up that I'm her husband to ah to, uh, to go husband she, she, she needs help but these are kids so <clears throat> play along and to you. take her arm with a grin tell the children they must be mistaken uh squint at a lot of them who's loche <laughs> I think I like that option um uh, she must have. Uh, look at the passel of dirty kids. <laughs> Jeez, that's a weird word. Look at the passel of dirty kids and say they seem uh, they seem well enough like brats to you. Take your leave. I'm gonna say squint at a lot of them. Who's Los? The young woman seems about to raise her hand, but quickly remembers herself and nods pointedly at the excited children. Ah. Uh. <laughs> Who indeed? Why, my name is, um, Madame Josephine Gribbles de Peeb. Mm. Gribbles de Peeb. <laughs> That's so made that, up. That makes your name Gribbles de Peeb. Break out into giggles. <laughs> I say, it is. <laughs> that... The face cracks into a great grin, and she shoos the children away from her with a laugh. <laughs> Yeah, okay, you found me out. Go on and get, and maybe I'll sing you something when I'm good and ready. <laughs> she turns to you, dark-eyed and dirty-haired, and smiles flatly. Gotta keep ourselves entertained, haven't we? <laughs> True. Um, uh, Age-appropriate companions. Ask if she couldn't find some. Uh, say that that's true enough. Shake, shake your hand. Losh, you presume? <laughs> you presume right. Okay. Um. Oh, ask her if there's anything don't about a murder. Try not to find anything out either. Ignorance is bliss. The utterer, the better. The utterer, the better. Yes, utter bliss. Oh, for fuck's sake! I need to. I, I need a vacation <laughs> to get my brain back in order. Anyway, <laughs> take her, uh, tell her she ought to have a look around with you. Uh, you can catch each other, watch each other's backs. That might not be a bad idea. Thanks, but I already belong to an elite and exclusive ship gang. We play ball every day after lunch. You're too soft for it. <laughs> She's part of the kids group. <laughs> Continue. <laughs> take care, though. Suddenly, her eyes cloud to an unnatural black. Whoa. Grayish veins run down her face what? and her mouth tightens into a cruel stare. What? No, this is wrong. What's this? As quickly as they came, the clouds clear. She smiles as though no change came over. No, 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 no. She's no. one of the origin characters that you can play as well, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, she is. Losh. Good luck, Chief. Oh, God, she's got infected with weird magic stuff. Ah, uh, yes, yes. I'm definitely not a skeleton. Who wants a crate? <laughs> I'm, I'm def. Yes, hi, I am a real boy. <laughs> <laughs> I have metal cage on the head for aesthetics. For sunburn. What are you trying to hear anyway? Who is this? Sybil? Lazily rolling dice on the surface of a barrel. They sound like the dry clacking of an old witch. Hmm, snake eyes. Oh, here's one of the other core characters. Hey, there's a lizard person. Never He's two lizard people. Prince. One of them is a prince. <laughs> the red one. The red prince. Well, 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 yes, well, I think that's literally his title. The fresh face in this day I bet that's just what they'll look like. You up, what? See if you... the Ask if you may, Jonah. Yes, I want to play <laughs> dice. <laughs> Like a farmer would. Whose fate are you deciding? He grips you firmly by the chin, with the intent of inspecting your hmm. teeth. Uh. <laughs> you, Miriam, let's see where hmm. this leads. Hmm. There's some discoloration, but I've seen worse. If we can decide fates with dice, ask if she read the future in car entrails as well. 
Now then, to business. You will answer me three questions. The first one is this. Can you cook? Ah, oh, music to my beleaguered stomach. Mm. On to the second question. Can you knit, weave? In short, uh, uh, No thanks, I don't know where your tongue has been. This woman just offered to lick me. Stop going into combat. I found a greasy key. I'm taking the greasy key. It's mine now. <laughs> uh, vagabond chic. Uh, yeah, okay. Magister Victor. Ifan Ben Mez. Oh, you're talking to him. The delicate art of cosmetics is what I'm after. Say you're say you most certainly have personal pride. No strangers to cook, combs, powders, and perfumes. The very basics, then. I suppose that's a start. So three Move questions. Move closer answered, to him. Questions answered. Let's evaluate, shall we? As per your own testimony, you can cook and groom, but you have a uh -huh. sense of a monkey in a clown suit. <laughs> oh, yes, it does. <laughs> that's true. <coughs> uh, okay. Without further ado, I offer you my sincerest congratulations. As Ask now, Ifan why the Magister suspects him of murder. <laughs> Tell him you accept. <laughs> Stare at him blankly. He thinks you're, you're his what now? <laughs> my slave, of course. <laughs> oh, but I see. Yes, I, I suppose it must take some time for the full... We're, we're experiencing wholly different circumstances at the moment, Dominic. We are. I'm apparently someone's slave now. <laughs> ah! Congrats! I don't think that's the understanding I wanted. Look, he's royalty, you're only nobility. He's above you in station. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have so many places I can put my station. <laughs> Ivan Besmets. Okay, I'm joining your conversation. What are you up to? What's going on here? Uh, What's this about 14 accused, year old? He's been accused of the murder. Oh, what? Um, Johnny Big by, the, <laughs> by Magister Victor. Oh, that's not good. Ask Ifan if what he did to find himself at the mercy of a subordinate. Long story. Maybe I'll tell you about it in the joy. Away from interested parties. Say that you're still curious about the murder. Did he do it? No. A dead man. Finn, is it? Finn is it? I'd no business with him. And I wouldn't put a man down without good reason. Oh, did, did, did you have good reason? Magister Victor, who's staring back at him with pointed intensity. Damn yes. Sure sheer annoyance isn't reason enough. <laughs> Ask if fine if he knows anything about your where you're Joy, headed for Joy. A lot. Nothing good. <clears throat> no surprise there, since Bishop Alexander runs the show. Oh, Bishop Wonder Alexander. To meet the ringmaster himself. Say so you'd like to meet Alexander. You'd show me exactly what you think of his bloody divine order. Tell a fan that once that that's one acquaintance you're not eager to make. Say so you've no interest in Alexander. All you care about is surviving for joy. Not yes, that one. In the son of the divine himself. <laughs> I don't blame you one bit. But Vic here will blow a blood vessel if he hears you talking like that. <laughs> What are you conspiring? Oh god, a good guy has a freaking gonad. What's your name? Yep. Oh, don't mind him. Vic's just got a bee in his bonnet. And that bee is me. Name. <laughs> name? Say that it's uh, Gil. Refuse to give him your name. Fane. Tell him that your name is in a language he has never heard and cannot pronounce, but you may call him, but he may call you Fane. This is a unique response only I can do. Then oh. scroll something illegible down in a tiny notebook. He scowls at you as he stows the notebook back in his voluminous robes. Mmm. He's written my name down. The one I gave him. Fine. The other one that he can't pronounce. As he leans back against the wall. Because he can't pronounce it. <laughs> hey, the door's open. <laughs> yes, I opened it. It's probably because I have a greasy key. Eh, but I'm still in a conversation. You click oh, on the ear here. to exit it. Um, there's a pocket knife, a cooking pot, a journal. Ooh, a journal. I will take the journal. Ooh, journal. I found gold. 
I wish to Loot read the all. journal. Read. This tome contains no text, instead sketches of dragons for every page. The artist oh, is hardly talented, but clearly enthusiastic. Yeah, it's a D&D manual. <laughs> I have found a potato. <laughs> did you miss the last of the description there? Oh, yeah, I did. So it contains dragons on every page, and it says that the artist isn't isn't talented, but enthusiastic. And so, yes, I agreed with you. It's a D&D manual. I need to learn a new recipe. Ah, recipes learned. Well done. Oh, wow. I'm trying to pick the door again. Restoration scroll. My thievery level is too low. Uh, I, I just picked up a barrel. Scrolls, I don't want that barrel. Special arrows automatically added to your hotbar. Uh, drag other items or skills to your hotbar to e for easy access. Okay. Uh, What's in this? I, I have to say, I like the little window that comes up. That's the, the okay. container. It's very Ultima. Oh. oh my god, I just picked up that entire thing. <laughs> Whoops. That's a, that's a butter churn. Ooh, my mask. It. My mask is unique. It allows me to, 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 it allows me to change my appearance. Interesting. Um, I want to give you something. Uh huh. Yes, I'm listening. I don't know how though. I want to turn into a lizard. What? <laughs> what the fuck? How long can you stay in that form? It's, I think, just an appearance. Just to disguise the fact that I'm undead. Yeah, I know, but I mean, I, I know it might not have mechanics, but how... I believe it's probably going to be a story-based element that I'll lose the mask and then have to, like, sneak around. But as I understand it, as long as I have the mask, I can remain in whatever form I've chosen. You found a lockpick to add, open a yeah, locked I'm object. I'm adding it to your inventory. Oh, thank you. I'm adding all my keys I found to you so you can... Do we want to go down there? We okay, can try unlocking you have this door. all the keys now. Excellent. Excellent. Right, so I've oh, got... My theory level is too low. I wonder if you need to specifically use uh, thieves tools. Uh, Lockpicks. Yes. Try now. I'm encouraging you. Go, man. Go. You can lock me. Oh no! I do lock picks. Fine metal. Uh, uh, nope. Nope. <laughs> no. Uh, there yes. You, go. you got this. You got this, man. You got this. No, my thievery level is too low, and they go my lock picks. They, they've been broken. Oh, I need to encourage you. <laughs> I don't know how this works yet. <laughs> <laughs> that was that was entertaining, nonetheless. <laughs> I've been encouraged. <laughs> After the Go losing wrong. the lockpicks. You can lock the bro. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm moving. Um, open this barrel. Nope. Nothing in What's there. What's our quest line currently? Uh, journal? No, no journal. Uh, inventory? No. Oh, ping. Oopsie, sorry. Um, uh, journal. L. L is for journal. Logbook. Okay, cool. Um... The Merry Troubled Waters. Register with Magister William. I don't think we've done that yet. Let's do that first. Where is he? Magister Waters? No lesions. Ugly sight, isn't it? Burns me up this happened under our protection. Uh, the other quest we have is Death Below Dex Find the Murderer, a Sorcerer Lies Murdered. The Magisters will pay for a lead on the killer. Hot under the collar, find someone to help you remove your source collar. I am bound by a magical collar that cannot be removed. Hmm. So what do we know about Troubled Water so far? Get your bearings, then go to the upper deck. Okay. I've done that. Register with Magister William. Um, on the other end of the ship. Okay, so that's all the way to the other end. I'm gonna run there. Ah, oh, okay. 
I'm joining your conversation. Is that Williams? No, that's paid. Uh, no, he's the guy that will let us in to see him. Okay, let me just join the conversation. Tell him you're fine. Say you've been through worse. Ask if he actually cares. Ask if he'd be fine collared like a dog and stuck in a ship's hole with a corpse and a murderer on the loose. <laughs> he tucks the collar of his uniform and chuckles. <laughs> Sorry you're upset, sir. But we all wear what we wear for a reason. You head on in now. Williams will get you short at fast. Why are they hmm. allowing us to be this mobile? We're collared. What's this? Why is there like a mutiny here? Mmm. <laughs> Hot. So you admit it, then? You murdered that poor fella. Oh. Yes, I did. But of course, that was only the beginning. Oh, goodness. Okay. She turns her head and looks him straight in the eye. Oh, wow. There are others whose lives must end. Oh, Whoa. no. God, the woman's mad. You there, sorcerer. Go and fetch Magister Siwan. We need to do more than collar this maniac. We need to shackle her hands and feet. Say so, yes, sir. Turn to leave. This murderer must be brought to justice. This may be the perfect opportunity to create a mutiny. Tell the woman you stand by her. Address the sorcerer and ask her what she meant by there are others who, whose lives must end. Your journey draws to a close. Do stick around for its finale, though, because... She reaches for her cloak and simply removes it. Oh, what? Oh, no. wow. Oh, okay, that's not good. I'm just about to create a scene. <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> Oh no! Void, void woken! Oh, She's gonna disappear. Fight! Cool, well, it's her turn first, and she's gonna probably just. Uh, oh, good god, we are. We're dead! Outclassed. Yep. That was. unfortunate. Huh! Happening. Yay! I like to, oh, can be picked on. up. Magister, there's a lot of spe people stuff here. Um, uh, they're dead. I'm going to take a stained shirt with me. Cracked two-hander, yeah. improvised one, shove, makeshift club. Do you want a wand? Sure. Oh, for Pete's sake, just give it to... Give it to my Spanish friend over there. Thank you, senor. He's ham. much appreciated. It's a ham, bread, cheese, it's wine. Run! Ah! Oh, water. Oh, goodness. Um, Everyone's basically dead now. Everybody's or unconscious. Been, everyone's been jibbed. Red Prince, is he okay? He, he's blaming the turnips. Is he alive? He's alive. My master is alive. Gaza! <laughs> Grab a nearby cup and throw some water in his face. Slap him in the face. He needs to get up now. Cup. Cup of water. Oh, um, apparently that wasn't the right thing to do. Is he dead now? No, he's just unconscious. Whoopsie. Oh. What? What happened? Uh, must have been the turn. You. You dare. The lizard's eyes close as he sleeps. Hold in your head to his chest, listening for a heartbeat. Yeah, he's out. Yeah, okay, he's out. Uh, yeah, we're in danger. <laughs> apparently. Uh, soul sound. What's this? An eye. Oh, lovely. I'll take that. Uh, poisoned arrow. What else? Bucket helmet. Oh, I'm gonna go rob the magistrates. Hang on. We need. We yeah, need me too. You keep changing what you look like. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um. So this is actually my real form. Yeah. So I um, maybe it doesn't last. Maybe those other forms, alternate forms, are actually temporary, unlike I thought they were. Thank you for that. A oh, poetry book. Yes. There you go. I'll take it. I do love poetry in games. She's not dead yet, so we could kill her or heal her. Yes. I think. 
Hmm. Okay. I don't know if I can heal her. I'll read some poetry to her. A woman from Driftwood with nary a care offered me kisses that answered my prayer. I accepted her gift and then to my dismay, a spider she was and I her buffet. Once feasting was over, she licked her red lips. I rose from the floor, still coming to grips. She thanked me for coming and bade her farewell. My prayer indeed answered, though still I did swell. Found a jawless skull. <laughs> <gasps> Jawless. Jawless. Do, 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 do. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go upstairs. Okay. The hatch is, the hatch is blocked. The hatch I'm is going blocked. to try and wake Losh. Okay, none of the other people are. Oh, is the hatch blocked? The, okay. That one, yes. There, we need to take the other exit. It's this way. Alright. Magic, magic are paid. Here is a key. I got a key of some sort. Ah, brilliant. Let's go up here. I'm coming. I'm a following. A water barrel. It's Barrel Man see this out. Blam. Yes. Hey, there's a wet dog over here. I saw sound. Not long before this thing see if we can get the wet dog to come with us. Talky talk. Woo. I've, I've got bones. <laughs> Okay, he, he doesn't want to follow us. Oh dear. Okay. Okay, well. Attack mode? I, for, I don't know. It came up when I clicked on the door. I'm, I'm go going to try and pick its lock. Go for it. Lock, pick. Lock, pick. Okay. Unlocked using your bony finger. There's people in there. <gasps> Pitchfork time. You're undead! You scared someone and they attacked you! Fuck me. Well, I thought can't. You don't have my mask them. just went. Ah! Oh well. Undead to arms in the hammer's name. Cool, I'm here to defend you. I've got my sword. Ah! Right, yeah, that hurt. That hurt. Realize, okay, I'll need to figure this out. Go for it. Uh. What can I do? Let's go... Mosquito Swarm? Play dead? No. What Where's you... my... My battering ram? Requires a melee weapon. I don't have a melee weapon yet, apparently. Do you have a melee weapon? I do, yes. And I've got a spare. I've got a knife. And a club. <laughs> you can always just fist them. I mean, punch them. <laughs> Equip the wand! Oh, yeah, that's nice. You can range with that, probably. Let's see. Well, it's glowing. <laughs> one them. Aha. Hey, one um, path interrupted. I'm in your way. Ah, there we go. I can do this one, though. Oh, Yay. oh, wow. Okay, nice. I have no action points. Well, very few. Yeah. Oh, that guy couldn't make it to you. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I am going to... Um, crippling blow. Let's see. Crippling blow... This guy. Holy crap! And then I'm going to see if I can... Oh, no, no. I want to get... So I get an attack opportunity. Yes! <laughs> okay. We're not out of the woods yet. There are two dogs here somewhere. Oh, uh, they turned hostile too, okay. It seems so. Um, I don't know if they're actually going to attack, so we'll have to see. Oh, you did, yes, yes. This is the horse behind you, scared hound. Saw sound. Okay. Um, I don't have any... Do I have anything ranged? I don't think so. I can probably come cover you. Yes, yes, I can. Nice. Good lord, this thing has multi, multi attacks. If you've got enough action points, you can do them too. Yay! Combat ends. Yay. Oh, there's a chest in here we missed. 
knockdown arrow, bowstring, and lemonade. I found lemonade. Aha! Uh -huh. Well done. But I don't use arrows really, not yet anyway. Okay, now I need to first just figure out what happened to my helmet. Okay, I'll do that first. I there's a letter on this door table in the back. I'm gonna go and read. I like this game okay. cycle, by the way. The like hel this helmet is comfy. disappeared for some reason. Oh. But I've got a tattered cowl that I could put on. I see the cowl. You look very cowly. Oh. I picked up a letter. It says... This letter contains a set of instructions for transporting sorcerers to a place called The Joy. Um, but someone has inked an angry black line from the top left to the bottom right. Huh. There's a bound tome. Sorcerer monarchs once performed great deeds across the lands. And you thought Rivalon was flat. Uh. Time to rest. Uh. I don't have any okay. gear yet. Better. Oh, it's the backpack. Okay. Okay. A letter. Read. My sweet Stefan, as I write this letter, we near the isle. By the time the owl delivers it, I will be but a day away. I've heeded Alexander's words, just as you said I should. But I think of Lucian often. Would the divine have condoned this? Would he have blessed us as we ripped children from their mothers? Can this be the only way? I feel cold inside and out. Of one thing I am certain, your arms will warm me when I find you again. With love, Rix. I gave you a shove. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know that's not in the mood you were going for, but I gave you a shove. Uh, you've shoved me. <laughs> kind of. Maybe. Just Maybe. Doing some inventory organization. Can I auto-organize this? Yes, you can. How do I auto-organize this? It is an auto-sort button. It's uh, just above the 28 or however much gold you have, the 38. You got it. Excellent. Uh, do I have any... I found a gold cup! Yay! Oh, I'm surprised. the winner of the competition. I won the gold cup. I saw the gold cup, didn't get to it. Uh, what's this? Equipment. I have a broken sorcerer collar. Um, I have no idea what it is. It's stolen, unbreakable, unbreakable. I don't have any good clothes yet. I, I, I don't to... either. Mm. It'd be frustrating. Okay. Um, right, so. Uh, do, 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 you're over there. I'm coming to the front. <laughs> ah, Goodness. goody. Sorry, hang on. I just need to quickly move some crickets out of my house. <laughs> Ugly dog. I found a bow which does a bit more damage than either of the, the either the shiv or the improvised wand. Interesting. 
But I don't know if it needs arrows, because I did find an arrow shaft, so <laughs> we shall see. You will need arrows for it, almost for a fact. Game save, thank so, you. Uh, I need to quickly get my inventory open. No, no. Okay. The marking on the door was painted recently, judging from its pungent scent. You don't no, I need to go the in the other direction, I think. You press your palm yeah. against the door to open. Yes. yes, this way. Okay, with this is the door forward. Ready? Yes. The moment you touch the door, it it's locked. Bounce. Uh, no, that won't get us there. Uh, I can try unlocking it, I guess. Sure. Every level is too low. There's a stairwell. Uh, there's a set of stairs over there. I'm coming. I'm coming. There we go. Up we go. Uh, pepper, oh, reach. wow, what are, oh, it, uh, oh, ah, ah, uh, this is not good, okay, well, um, hang on, let me ah. open the fight here, what are these things? There's a Kraken, attacking the ship. Don't worry about the Kraken right now. <laughs> I assume these are void spawn. It says it's a vicious... I don't Void. need arrows. Nice. Okay, there's nothing. I think you can cre craft magical arrows. I think it's the same as in Baldur's Gate 3. Cool. Where you can have unlimited ammo, but you can have special ammo for extra. Understood. Now just let me move. Oh dear lord. Jeez. The, the helm just went boom. That's Where are you? Not good. Ah, there you are. Oh, shit. We can't get up there without trouble. Here's a barrel of water! Do you, do you think we need to get up there? No, well, just in case. Eh. Eh. Oh. There's a, ah! there's a dude here with magical items. A radiant I scroll see. and some... Okay, right. I'm gonna go take go the opposite direction of the giant tentacle. Uh huh. There's another one on the other side. Oh, there's lifeboat over here. Ah, cool. I want to just quickly uh, search these. This Magister Knight of it. Oh here. no! Uh, one of the lifeboats have just been. Oh my god! Um, gosh. Forget what I said. There's only one lifeboat. Uh, okay. <laughs> there never were any more than two. I mean one. Alright. I'm uh, coming. Oh, the children are in here. Oh. The camera is stopped. How do I center the camera again? I think it's double click on your portrait. Thank you. The dwarf yanks at one of the nearby ropes. Okay, Doki. Okay, Doki. You see those tentacles, kid? It's time for getting the hell out of here. Um, but the kid's right. Uh, what does it say here? Okay, tell tell the kid Gil is right. You just came from lower deck. Um, the ship trembles underneath your feet, but the kid's right. Say you'll get back to the lower deck and look for the survivors. Ah, for fuck's sake. You're gonna be the death of us, you hear? God damn it. Okay, I'm going downstairs. I'm a noble knight. I must. Ah, uh, okay, right. I'm, I'm a following. Freaking. Why is the. Click location so small? I don't know. Oh god, okay, there are lots of survivors, but there's also a lot of monsters down here, so let's get. Yes, let's I'm, get I'm, uh, I'm, I'm right behind you. Oh 
God, that dwarf is useless. Okay. Okay, maybe not so useless, but don't burn, burn more things. <laughs> I'm sorry I said you were useless. <laughs> Holy crap. The starting characters are potent and stupid. <laughs> she didn't have much choice if she wanted to go through to this side. She could have waited two rounds. Maybe. Petrified. Hey, my master, the prince dude. Splat. Nice. I faced worse. Have you? God Goodness. damn it, man. Do you just think and beard grows? <laughs> <laughs> right, finally. Um, <laughs> where's something I can hit? I don't know. Uh, I'm gonna quickly move the camera. Uh, no, there's nothing more to hit. Oh, there's wait. one in the combat tracker, but I don't see it. It is uh, petrified. Here it is. Yeah, in the middle. No. It's in fire and petrified. Okay. Uh, uh, okay. I need to walk inside. Just wait. There's nowhere for you to go. It's all on fire. <laughs> Talk about being useless. Uh, no, there it is. I thought that wasn't the one. No, it, it's there. It's just petrified. There we go. Done. Right. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, yeah. I wouldn't have been able to reach that other one okay, in time anyways. Okay, everyone is kind of Assist. running out. Let's go see if that Magister can be woken up now. Okay, cool. Oh! We could take a sheep if we wanted. <laughs> I'm sure sheep swim. Okay, what are you going to say? Look around for some way to help her. There's nothing to be done. Leave her to fend for herself. No, look around. Is there anything we can do? With jagged movements, she raises her so much and holds, and holds out a length of cloth, so soaked with some, some kind of strange smelling tincture. Take the cloth and hold it to the wound to try stem the bleeding. Blood quickly soaks through the cloth. Magister C One's mouth opens and closes. Her eyes wide in terror. Oh wow, that's gonna hurt. Slit her throat. <laughs> No, no. Hold the cloth tighter to the wound. Uh, unravel the blood red cloth and wrap it snugly around her neck like a tourniquet? No! What the fuck? No! Hold it just tighter on the wound. <laughs> it's working. The but pressure is stemming the flow of blood. C1 clutches your arm, her eyes locked with yours. Something <laughs> you don't have eyes! <laughs> the floorboard shudder. <laughs> Happening within the ship snaps the floorboard shutter. Continue holding the cloth to the wound. Take someone's hand to try and help her stand. Yeah, that, that's the best you can do. C1 struggles to her feet, clinging to you tightly. The ship lets out a deep groan, then mm, cracks. cracks. We're all knocked down. Oh god, no. Oh god, no. This is stranger danger. Stranger oh. danger. Uh, yes, we're, we're entering the Upside Down. This is... Oh, dear lord. This is epic. <laughs> I have plans for you, child. Oh. Thanks, God! <laughs> Thanks, Jim! <laughs> Thanks, GM. Yeah, exactly. We lost a ship that was a quick playthrough, I think, of the entire game. With yeah, the game. <laughs> their vile magic lured the Void Woken. All who were aboard are presumed dead. Yours faithfully into eternity. Ah. <sighs> Alas. Poor. High fudge Oriband. Fain. I knew him well. <laughs> he was a skull in life, and he's a skull in death. <laughs> skull boy. Listen, you can't drown a skeleton. <laughs> it has no lungs. It doesn't need to okay, breathe. You might not be able to drown it, but he might have lungs. You don't know what he owns. That, he might have like them, but he doesn't lungs. use them. <laughs> he does. He uses them to, I don't know, fire his furnace or something. <laughs> Bellows. Bellows, yeah, I know. Yeah. I will say this about Larian. They really love their beaches. <laughs> D 
Divinity Original Sin 1 also start on a beach. <laughs> Neverwinter Nights also start on a beach. Um, used to. And the D&D Online also starts on a beach. <laughs> War World of Warcraft also starts on a beach. <laughs> what the frick is the starting on a beach stuff? I don't know, man. <laughs> it's a box, but it's not an interactable. I'm, I'm sad now. Sight range indicator. Uh, there are enemies ahead. Place left shift to see the enemies with sight range. Understood. Left shift. Ah, Whisperwood. Left shift. Short stick. Mine. <laughs> My stick. Wait, hang on. I just want to. It said left shift. Oh, there we go. Okay, I can move the camera around. Ah, okay, cool. Hey, dude. Let's sneak. Okay, 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 okay. How the fuck do I sneak? Or <laughs> <laughs> bushes. Bush. Bush, bush. <laughs> bush. <laughs> bush. <laughs> bush. <laughs> Those are the same beasts that sank our ship. I'll go right here, go left. Bush, bush. Bush, bush. Bush, bush. Bush, bush. Sneak attack! <laughs> you bastard! <laughs> push, push. Bah! <laughs> Surprise! For the, for the bush, I was. I am not. Oh, Supplies, you're... motherfucker! Yep, that's over for them. <laughs> well done. <laughs> you bastard. Yeah, it's gonna burn to death. <laughs> if it starts its round there, it's gonna die. Oh! Oh, I, I, they're not dead yet! I'm a dummy. <laughs> they're not dead yet! Now they're dead. <laughs> oh, yay. Uh, reflection dialogue. Oh. Hey, level up. I think. No, it's a reflection yes. dialogue. Press I oh no, it is. Sorry, sorry, sorry. It's level up. Okay. Uh, let's see. I've got How one. How do you do this? Point available. Uh, uh, wait, wait, where did you click? I press I. I. And then I've got attribute point, two attribute points. Oh, I one see. One combat ability point and one civil ability point. Okay, so combat ability point. I'm gonna spend my one into. Or my two into. When are you constitution? Uh, it's now twelve. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to increase my strength by one. Uh -huh. My my civil my oh my combat abilities. I, I definitely have... need a point in thievery because that's going to be my my specialty. I can tell it. I can things. tell, I can tell, yes. Lord Master I have lots of books in my inventory. <laughs> I think <laughs> these are weighing me down. Persuade. Oh, so I've only got 21 of 110 pounds used. Barrel. Magister Jalen. You found I do have a, I do have a very British voice. Leather scraps. Okay, I'm just gonna quickly. There's someone or something ahead. Huh? What the hell is that? Sir Laura. Dude, there's a squirrel riding an undead squirrel ahead. Oh, wait, what? Huh? Okay, use the WAS buttons. And go uh -huh, forward in yes. the road and then zoom in. Which direction? Down this way? Look on the mini map. Oh, see oh. There's a green oh there, I see. Yes, I see. The fuck? <laughs> Is this? It's a, I think it's a cat, but yes, I, I, see, I see the squirrel on the undead creature. I think the, un, I think the, 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 the squirrel is riding an undead cat. I think Not another squirrel, I but still it, have it's clothes, fine. But fair enough. I suggest that the... Uh, ah, you, you, you don't have... I have a spare pair of boots. Uh, please. How do I give uh, to, to you? Yeah, you drag like it. So? Open inventory and drag it to the, yes. my portrait in the top left. Oh. I don't know why I can't just drag it directly to there, but uh, fair enough. I got I've on, given huh? you a pair of boots. Nice. Yeah. I, or, I found another pair on the ship that... Nip, neep. Oh. I think... That certain characters have the ability to communicate with animals. They do. And we are not those characters. The squirrel's nose Ooh, crafty weaponry. Die by the sword. It's a special book. Okay, well, 
I shall read special book. Read. A word of advice to the badly armed. Tie your knife or shiv, if that's all you have, to a stick or a branch. <laughs> now you've got a sword of sorts. Sir Laura. This is adorable. <laughs> I learned a new recipe. I'm going to turn this shiv and th take this shiv and combine it with to the stick I picked shiv. up earlier. Short stick. How do I do this? Dude, the written Combine survived. with... Yes! Yes, combine with stick. What do you do? Huh? Understood, yes. Ah, <laughs> okay, that doesn't work. I need string. Are there straps, maybe? No. Let me go and look at where the recipes actually are. Recipes, here they are. Improvised wand, knife on a stick. Yes, I need uh, a rope. Knife on a stick. Oh, wow. Okay, interesting. That's cool. <laughs> <I've> got... <laughs> this is the sort of crafting I want in, in 5th edition, Dominic. <laughs> <laughs> Come along. I, my master I'm is coming. alive. Ah, shells. Shells. Chop rock. I'm going to be such a hoarder. <laughs> Hang on, I just want to... I just Barrel! Wanna, I just want to call Zelda real quick. I want to show her this squirrel. <laughs> Sir Laura is following us. Yeah, I see. One moment. I'm just going to quickly... He's doing somersaults. You missed it, Dominic. He's doing somersaults. I am concerned that the skeleton of the cat has skeleton cat ears. Because cats don't have bones in their ears. It's a very bony-eared cat. Ah, the Red Prince. He contemplates the deep blue sea, so different in colour, but no less regal. Where is, where is the Sir Squirrel? Uh, sir Laura is following me. Let me bring him back to you. Okay. He does somersaults. Yeah, I know. Bring him here. <laughs> yeah, it's 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 Sir Laura, and he's following us. <laughs> it's a squirrel with a little skeleton helmet. <laughs> you can talk to him, but you can't understand. The squirrel's nose twitches yep. as you approach, but the creature turns away before you can say anything. <laughs> Ah, the Red Prince. I was just extolling to the chat how he's contemplating the deep blue sea, so different in colour to him. He's contemplating his orb. He has no orb. He has a collar! A strange lizard, gazing over the water with a yes, you recognise him from the ship. Greetings, the shells. Oh, greeting well, heartily, um... Uh, <sighs> Uh, he's the one that took you by the jaw and sized you up here like a damn horse. <laughs> yeah, he did. Uh, greet him hotly. The lizard turns about with the graceful ease of a dancer or a duelist. You lock eyes with his two smoldering embers that sizzle you very mm. soon. Mm. A duelist. Mm. I did survive, yes. And chances are I wouldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'm busy. In Original Sin 1, there were certain shells, certain clam shells, or oysters, or what have you, um, certain shells that you could open and then they had pearls inside them. I haven't found one of those yet. Um. Eep, Aw. We need to find a way to communicate with our, um, uh, Rodent trend. 
Yes, I'm sure you've all the making our rodent. What is the word for a rodent necromancer? Nevertheless, a rechnomancer? No, no, it's not a rechnomancer. <laughs> Now then, if there's nothing further. Um. Um. Hmm. Uh, Stan, ask him what he's doing here. If you really must know, I haven't quite decided yet. I have a frightful amount of things on my mind, hence my standing. Uh, I'm just collecting shells. There's so many of them. Tell me, dude. The red prince is you. <laughs> is it? I I want I really like the Red Prince character. I want to play him too. <laughs> He's amazing. <laughs> but I was kind of keen to play the the undead skeleton thingy. Huh? The undead because I actually thought that they each had a set class, uh, I did, and I, did. I I thought that he would be a necromancer, uh, and I wanted to play that. Uh, say lo uh, say that as of last night. <laughs> Memories. Quite so. He looks out over the water once more, and so do you. A few tranquil moments pass as the waves lap against you. As for myself, I am now in the water. Before us, mm. I see mm. an empty yes. continent dotted yes. with mighty cities. Mm. I now have a soggy bottom half. Of the sea's horizon, <laughs> I picture the palaces that formed my paradise. Lost. Hmm. What do you mean? What do I mean? I mean just what I say. I had a very my good sir, Laura. How do I communicate with thee? Suddenly, having all the air of being deeply offended, he stares at you with utter incredulity. Well, don't just stand there gawking. Like they took away my fancy helmet that let me become other things. I wonder why. And how? <laughs> Smack your forehead. Of course, every blue blood knows the Red Prince. The very same. I am the Red Prince. Oh, there's a barrel. I already checked this barrel. It's empty. The spouse of the... Of course you know me. There's a brief moment's pause, during which his grandiloquent pose deflates. No, 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 no. Oh. I suppose I must own up to the fact that I find myself rather in between all... Reveal to me thy secrets. <laughs> Grandeur is my fate has. But never you worry. With the throne I was destined, and my throne I shall have. Wow. I shall have my throne. Um, uh, invite him to travel with you. Maybe he can even help. Truly. A kind offer indeed. And you've already proven to be trustworthy enough. You came by. I accept oh, wow. one condition. Okay. For reasons I'll not... Tell him if he's willing to give up his throne. ...that I should meet with a dreamer. One of the mystics of the oh. reason to believe one of them may be present on this island. Promise me we'll look for him and I'll extend you the blessing of my jolly good. Cool, so we need to go see settled, the dreamer. Um, Even if you are we all want to see a dreamy person. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently this guy's married to the sun. I'm not entirely no, sure what's going on. <laughs> magic, and yes, even what's the link, Jerry, man? What say you? Let me have a look. Ah. As a born fighter, I prefer the perf uh, the perfection of the blade myself. But I'm uh, well acquainted with this secret of, of uh, secrets of magic and yes, even subterfuge. What say you? Uh, say that the fighter sounds perfect. Uh, interest in someone with a little muscle. Uh, say that you interest in someone with a little finesse. Um, uh, fighter sounds perfect. Very well. Onwards then to victory. The red oh. <laughs> was ever so delicately between courtesy and content. Now, as you're away, you'll be travelling with a prince. <laughs> forms of address include your majesty, <laughs> your royal highness, or, or if you're feeling particularly frivolous, my lord. lord. <laughs> I'm not as calling you my lord. <laughs> I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't. Uh, well, but I mean, <laughs> if his name is actually Miller. As your, as. As as a your luck would have it, I seem to be fresh out of luggage, so you won't have to acquire to carry my belongings. Of, <laughs> <laughs> of course, there are other forms of protocol to bear in mind, but I see that you will pick uh, up the rest as we go. 
companion bonds. The companion yeah. has the, the companion has bonded with the recruiter. It can develop a relationship only with that character. Okay, so this is. I not didn't know you had relations with the sun. Ah, brilliant. Pull them apart. Later. All right, let's be on our way. I think we're going this way. There's a yellow dot on our screen this direction. <laughs> what screen do you speak of? Ah, it's a black cat. Fane. How do you do? Yeah. Fane. Do you think we can eat it? We still have this weird I skeletal. I don't. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what are you talking about? Uh, um, the the black cat had a strange look on its face, and then the look went away. Well, onward uh, and upward. Yes, it's also following us now. I didn't know that we we were going to have a menagerie of creatures following us. No, me neither. There's another thing around the corner. A child. I must. Oh, no, that we can definitely eat. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Why not? I'm sure glad you went back to save the others. Saw one of them wringing out their tunic at the shore a few hours ago. Say hi. Okay, you're gonna be okay on your own here. F fine. <laughs> Jeez. They're self-sufficient that... children. <laughs> yes, they bleed all on their own. Self-sufficiency tastes. Self-sufficiency tastes mighty good. Can we swim to that? Can't reach. I'm now wet, apparently. <sighs> I've decided I like this voice more than the actual voice in game. <laughs> he has a very he has a very normal voice in game. Like Yeah. Maybe he does just project his voice inside okay, the minds just, of those he speaks to. Heads up, there's a bit of a settlement here. I see. There's a Luckily I have a hood. Oh there's a ladder here. I'm just gonna take an eagle eye view of the situation. The Fort Joy Ghetto. <gasps> um Okay. Holy crap, this place is huge. Sir Laura and the black cat can't join us up here. Oh, wait, no, they can't. <laughs> Sir no Laura just yeeted upstairs. <laughs> and Brother Briar, Briar, there's so much to look at and do. Um, yes, it's a bit of an overload. Okay. For now, there's a bucket. Oh god, I just got, I'm being harassed. The wood pile. Oh no, her ass. Why don't you join us in a I'm, list, I'm I'm adjoining First hands on the house. A round of cards on the house. Chuff to you, chief. Here are your cards. You're up first. You glance at your hand. Two purple monarchs. A hard hand to beat. Oh goodness, okay. Well, that was easy. Looks like you'll have to pay your interment fee after all, Freshie. I'm sure the Reds told ya. No one gets along without paying the interment. Who's making the sippy noises? That's me. <laughs> Sorry. Ah, okie dokie. <laughs> I thought you just think it was in game. Yes. <laughs> oh, apologies. Um. Only I'm allowed to make sippy noises. <laughs> and only when I drink blood. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Mention it gain, gain more from having you and your connections as allies. I don't think your connections will get here in time to save you if you don't pay up now. You won't hand over what's rightfully yours. We'll see about that, Freshie. Ha 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 ha! Yes! First day in prison, Dylan. Always beat up the, beat up the bald guy. <laughs> for some reason. Wow, okay, the Red Prince is a uh, fast Old bugger. guy! Okie dokie. Oh, jeez, you're not even <laughs> rude. Okay, I am going to. If he burns my cloak, my 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 hood, you're getting me a new one. Oh wow, that's a cool spell. You're getting blooded. Fuck you! <laughs> Fuck 
you. <laughs> they try to cause bleeding damage to you. <laughs> there we go, that put it right back in her face. Mosquito Swarm, nice. She can bleed actually, so... <laughs> Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, um, I mean, beware. Beware. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! Backstab critical. Whoa! Whoa! Yeah, I'm being backstabbed. I'm fine though. I'm fine. I'm fine. He—he he was your close friend and all. <laughs> he was. <laughs> For all of two seconds. <laughs> then he backstabbed you. Critically. Critically, <laughs> yes. Twice! <laughs> okay, end turn. No! Where are you going? You. You. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I am going to. Do I don't like you. Rush forward, straight line as to, uh, as to the estimate point, hitting all enemies in her path. 8 to 10 physical damage and knockdown. So I'm gonna come and charge. Bam! There we go. Mm. Bam! <laughs> yes. Yes! Look, we're hot. <laughs> Just He's dead. He's dead, Jim. And this one is dead too! <laughs> Crime and punishment. <laughs> You've taken a touch. Uh, uh, taken. If you take and touch property that isn't yours, beware of the consequences. Um, owners will develop a negative attitude towards you. Obviously. <laughs> but these guys are dead. They don't own owners anymore. They're they're victims. <laughs> that was just the tutorial telling us Make sure to, to be careful. I've got stained pants. Yes. I've got pants. That's my pants. Congratulations. Yeah. Oh, I have pants. Yes, I do. I have threadbare pants. Well, now that was thoroughly interesting. There are fish bones everywhere. I've got a helmet. <laughs> this is horrible. Congratulations! <laughs> Look at my helmet. <laughs> it's a bucket. It's a bucket. <laughs> Why do I? Do you want my helmet? <laughs> <laughs> no. Come on. No one will know. <laughs> I don't know who's been in that bucket. Other than you. And I don't know where you've been. You know where I've been. <laughs> uh, they don't trust you. <laughs> no, the creepy squirrel thing is still following us. I thought you like. I thought you thought it was cute. Yeah, it can be cute and creepy. Creepy cute. Who's this? Creepy. Mira. The woman is scrabbling at her throat as Cute. she can Creepy. hardly breathe. Creepy. Uh, uh, clap, uh, clap her on the back of the uh, back and ask if she's all right. Don't touch me. You're too close. Um, a man named Gowan is asking me if I've just arrived and if I'm alone. <laughs> ask. I can ask him why he wants to know. I can say that I am alone, or I can say that I'm with a group, or I can leave. Don't you feel how tight this collar is? And there's nothing you can do. Okay, I'll take your sip as uh, decide for myself. Okay, ask why he wants to know. He's propositioning me. For what? He says it's something worth knowing and that I shouldn't invite a group. I'm listening. He only needs one. What? <laughs> it's just... I have a proposition, something with... All right, fine, go on. Listen up. You must think me mad to approach a stranger, but this Yes, I do think you're mad. And I'm out of time. <laughs> fast. Too fast. Way too fast. He's running around too fast. Listen. Slow and steady always wins the race. Uh, what are you planning? Longer than anyone else. People get taken sometimes. Some folks say they get cured. Well, I don't know if I believe it, and I don't. They get taken. I have a way out of here. It won't be easy, and I need a partner. Just wait. I don't swing that way. <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> Tell him it feels a little convenient. Fade How up. do you know Fade, he's not working to... for the magister? Fade, no, you don't swing either way unless you've got a club in your hand. Leave whatever you want. <laughs> exactly. In this place. Take it or don't. Maybe he knows how to get the colors off. Shall I then tell him I want in? Yes, well, I'll follow along. Oh boy, who wouldn't? Finally, someone with a little sense around here. The plan's simple, completely foolproof. Oh no. I have a spell that I can use to teleport you right out of here. I can't use it on myself, but with your help, we can both get out of here. Uh huh. Yes, it's an artifact dubious. That you can use to teleport me out of this place. Then I can use my spell to free you in turn. This item, though, it's in quite an unfortunate location. I say we get the item and use uh, it. So he wants me to do the legwork for him. Yes. You should I ask him where to find it, just in case we want to take it for ourselves. Obviously. <laughs> nest of crocodilians on a secluded beach nearby. Crocodilians, I'm out. And I'll show you where to go. <laughs> okay, so How many? <laughs> ah, yes, you can see my broad shoulders and hips. Oh, ten bottles of mead. Oh. Thousand bottles of dust. Okie dokie. I'm looking for I don't have any what fours though, so I'm going to have to buy some before I give them to the lizards. Fleeting snake. No, no, let's not get nasty. Greet's better off, I'm sure. Uh, penny bun mushroom. Penny bun mushroom. I have two penny bun mushrooms. One a penny, two a penny hot crust mushrooms. Sharp rock. I now have two sharp rocks and a discovered a waypoint. Well done. Perk up, old chap. There's plenty of singletons about. Leave me be, Sam. Where are you? I only mean that if you think about it logically, she's much better off. Leave it, Sam. I won't say it again. Where are you? I'm the. Uh... Don't be unreasonable. Uh, ah, there you are. I'm coming towards you. To puke yourself to death I think. Purged. Yes. Think? You should be happy for greed. And let's see what's Please. going on here. Excuse us. His name is Sam. Not, me, not him, Sam. Ons gaan nou Sam luister. Oh, for the love of Lucian. You're acting like a again. What you said about my wife. Go on. Ooh, a prat cock van your vrouw. Piss off. Go on, Sam. Well, it's the truth, and you know it. She's better off. So what if it was messy? I'd rather puke myself to death a thousand times than let the Reds get to me. If she were my wife, I'd be happy for her. A flat smile twitches across Balladeer's lips. <coughs> mm. She never did like you. Mm. Oh, Jeebus. Well, they probably had it coming. What? Donor. Sam is not dead. Sam is not even Sam. Nie. Sam. Yeah, <laughs> nie, nie, he's for bye. I just got <laughs> I just got an arrow shaft. You could say he was shafted. <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> I feel good. Da -na 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 -na. The man looks for a moment at the corpse. I knew that I would. Da -na 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 -na. Wrong song, but yes. I don't care. <laughs> uh, take your leave. I don't want to talk to this guy. He's grieving and he's got a knife. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! No no! <laughs> what what have you got there? A dead a dead uh, wife and a knife. Dead knife. Surely you have one. Scram. Yes. Yes. I know. I know. I'm going to need some sort of, some sort of holding device, some sort of bag that can hold things. <laughs> you do have a bag, don't you? <laughs> Griff. Yes. Uh, if he's in charge around here. Who's asking? 
seeking. Uh, come as a kinsman, kinsman seeking guidance. He smirks and holds the little knife up to the light, watching it. I'm listening. Uh, okay, cool. I've got this guy's attention. Um, I'm interested to trade. Sure. Have a look. Yes. Haha. <laughs> okay. Stuff, huh? I found a, a shop. Shop. Okay, cool. So I. Oh, this guy's got. Are going to rob him? No. I've got that special shipment you was asking after. But I have bony fingers. They won't feel a thing. <laughs> no, I say. <laughs> no. <laughs> Apparently, I've got milk on me. Have you ever been caressed by a skeleton? Oh, Christ. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a back scratcher with intent. Um. <laughs> oh, hey, yeah. Uh, rip painting. I've got these paintings I can sell. Yes. Get some cash going. Nice. Uh, mug of water. I almost thought you were going to say mug of war, and I'm like, what? Mug of war. <laughs> <laughs> Threadbare. There's, this lady's name is Nusi. The arena of Fort Joy. What do you think that is? I think it's because I just spoke to this Nusi lady. Yeah, no, she's trying to set me up in the arena. Uh, to add it, the trader, the story presents the trader's attitude towards you. The higher their, their attitude, the better their prices. You can raise the trader's attitude by gifting items or gold. Okay. I have penny bun mushrooms. What the hell are you on about? <laughs> Sharp rocks and sticks as well. Leather scraps. Lots of shells. I'm worried. <laughs> 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 Ask if he's in charge around here. Yeah. There's a. Uh... What's this? Arena of the One. Oh, there's an arena down here. Yes. I'm interested in trade. Alrighty, let's I found see what Thola, we can trade. the thorny one. Why is she called the thorny one? You think? I, I, I don't want to think too hard about it. Oh, she's an elf. You come to fight. You come to prove yourself. Fishbone. You come to be worthy. There can be only one, and you have but one none of these shell very much. I'm disappointed. To prove you are the one. Never mind. The one does not ask such a question. Mm. Choose wisely. Whether you fail or succeed, you do not fight more than once. Uh, no. Say no one will aid you to fight alone. Okay. Oh. Okay. I just want money, thank you. Okay, um. Bye bye. I'm in the arena fight. Come watch me fight. How? The, uh, right next to that shop, there should be a um, a trap door that goes down. Ah, yes, I see it. Okay, me and my lord here, we're having a bit of a restored physical armor. Uh, okay, so. I, I, oh, uh, can I see you from here? Is this is this how you spectate? I don't know. From. Uh, you can watch your stream as well. <laughs> Sorry. Okay, so there's a chest and everything. And these guys have ranged weapons. But I do have Molotov cocktails, so I'm gonna run to here. And then Molotov the cuck out of them over there. <laughs> oh no, that's not good. That's not good. Yo, okay. I am what blinded? Am I blinded? No, I'm not. I'm stunned or something. Anyway. Um, crippling blow, battering ram. Too far. I can't see it, bro. Crippling blow, battle stomp. 
all in. I'm on them. Electrical discharge scroll. Also can't get there. Okay, how do I cancel? There we go. Okay, right click on the thing again. Okay. So uh, I want to. Are you? Are you fighting Virla, the avid one, and something, someone else? Um. Yes, I, I can sort of see some of your fight. I'm fighting, yeah, we're the avid one. And then I want to encourage. There we go. Oh. Magic shield, okay. Jeepers. If you die, I don't know if I'm allowed to come resurrect you. <laughs> it's okay! <laughs> hey, you can't so I have a resurrection scroll, but I mean, this is an arena. I don't know what the rules are. It might be a, a, a waiver or a fee, and uh, I'm not a big fan of paperwork. <laughs> <laughs> a waiver or a fee. <laughs> Ow! Miss Miss, nice. I'm honestly. I honestly prefer my own voice for this character. <laughs> yes, uh, I'll quickly give you a, a nice all-in attack. Uh, damage based on basic attack receives bonus for strength. There we go. Full attack. Here we go. <laughs> uh, well done. And Show him what for. Uh, if you have any what fors. And then I want to small poison bottle. No, don't drink the poison, you twat! Christ! Yes! Why would you drink, drink the poison? Twat? Confuse the enemy! <laughs> the lady <laughs> from the weapons in you terror! Twat. You are a. Why? I thought it would heal me! No, what is this? You're not. You're not the dead one, I'm the dead one. Oh god. Oh, speaking of, I can't benefit from healing potions. I should give all my healing potions to you. This is not a good situation. Okay, 45. Physical armor, dragon blades. Let's, let's blaze it up. I've sent all my healing potions to you. Oh, interesting. We can match fix. We can. Yes, I can send stuff to you while you're in combat. You now have five healing potions, by the way. Uh, awesome. Uh, and then I am going to burn a cock out of you. Burn, baby, but I'm so dead. I'm so dead. Shit. Ah, fuck. This is going kind of bad. What? Why would they put it freaking against four people? I thought it would be like an e even fight. Uh, I think because if you play single player, you can take in a full party. I mean, the Red Prince went with you, right? Yeah, but it says like the ally that's close to me. For fuck's sake. Um, Restoration Scroll. Uh, I need to do that. It's called a Resurrection Scroll. What? No. What the fuck? How does this work? The resurrection scroll. Yeah. You put it in, in the hot bar and then cast it from the hot bar? I think. Target is blocked. How is the target blocked? There we go. Okay. I'm back. I kind of. <coughs> Blinded. Wonderful. Fucking hell. They need to. They need to incorporate a way to observe no, this a is, little more sus efficiently. This is not a. I'm. I'm dead. <laughs> well, well, well. Uh, it, uh, there's nothing I can do really. Um. Ah. <sighs> Run away.
While you're busy, I'll read some more. Wonderful. Fucking hell. You're overkilling me. Yes. Yes. On the silencing of the source. We have long... We have too long presumed Source was the virtuous part of civil society. It would need no look further than the Source King's reign to understand the havoc such magics may wreak. Yes, they do stink. One day another order must follow in the Source Hunter's footsteps. Sorcerers can and must be muted. I failed completely, but I'm back. The new model of source scholars provided by the Vredeman is providing most effective. The ah, the Vredeman! Okay, so I took part in this and this burnished one dude someone just said... Will yet be chosen. Keeps repeating, someone will yet be chosen. I see that, yes. Fucking hell, that's, this is so complex. Uh, this isn't, you know... Um, Darkest dungeon complex, but there is a lot going on here. Mm. But no more than in any, in than in in any. Ooh, that sentence. It got away from you. Than in any other RPG. Um, the place, the play is very similar. I mean, it's the same thing. So it's the same engine and everything as Baldur's Gate 3. So this, but this is obviously mm. a full game. There's no beta or anything here. This is no, no, the engine is a little more updated in Baldur's Gate 3. Obviously, but yes, but yes the, the basics are here. Um, mm. The fact that I did, there's this expansive, large environment that I can just sort of explore through is really, really cool. Um, do you know if there's a shopkeeper in town that has a bit of, a bit everything of weapons? Good. I don't know. Let's find out. Hello. <laughs> God. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Oh, sake. I'm coming. Hello. <laughs> Stop accosting the people. <laughs> I'm sorry for my friend. Let me listen in. Butter. Are your, is your name Butter? Yes. Her name is Butter. Can't you see? It's written above her head. <laughs> Ask her if she likes what she sees. <laughs> Do you like my bony hips? <laughs> you yeah. tighten your belt. I have very wide hips for a man. <laughs> and a very <laughs> tiny waist. <laughs> but a large rib cage. <laughs> All the more for a bigger heart. Do I have one spare by any well, chance? <laughs> he runs this. Alrighty, uh let's see. Uh This person is praying. Oh, fuck's sake, I keep pressing Ah, oh, here's Losh! You found Losh? Yes, I did. See if she was wanting to join us, maybe. Yeah, I feel like we have a maximum number. Okay, fine. Oh my <laughs> god, that's a... That's a choice painting. <laughs> what is this? Painting of Lucian. Who's Lucian? I'm, I'm sorry, I don't know. The Divine himself, Lucian. The shrine is built into the memory, it seems. Okay. Oh. Okay. Uh, so, an odd-looking woman is staring intently at the statue to the Divine. Fingers curled rigidly at her sides. Grayish black veins run from her eyes down her cheeks. Gently call out to her and ask if she's alright. Slowly approach and shake her shoulder. Leave her be. I'll gently call out to her and ask if she's alright. Hello, are you alright? Are you alright? <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on, stop pressing tab. Her head snaps to you automatically, and her eyes lock with yours. Dark pupils dilated into great black voids. Yes, I know. Amazing to look at me. I Especially a cheap skate. Like this. An intense looking man steps between the mm. and the elf and rolls up his sleeves, revealing well muscled and heavily. Yes, I am. Every guy is some guy. <laughs> this is no business of yours. Why are you acting so strangely? The thug freezes in fear for a moment before shuffling back to the protection of his crone. Are you? You're being hospitable. Especially not one of you. Uh, tell uh, she's going to have to elaborate 
waggle a rakish eyebrow and ask if she's implying you should make yourself at home. Yes, I waggle my eyebrow. <laughs> Anyways, okay, tell her she's going to have to elaborate. I have neither. The intense looking man stands Sorry, I'm trying to defend an elf. Thugs, shooting you in a praising oh, glance. Good luck, those dirty buggers. <laughs> <Oi>! <laughs> the they call them moss munchers. Sizing up your moss That's the insult that was just thrown. Up and down sizing the com combined threat. Ah, okay. Loesch just called me an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road. <laughs> good God, that's. What? <laughs> what did you say to she's, her? She's, 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 I asked her to elaborate on what she means by being hospitable. And she says that I'm like an infested clump of leaves on the side of the road and she's like a roadside inn. I think she's trying to imply that she's somehow attractive and I'm not. I've, Listen, fair enough. I defy you to find anyone <laughs> who has hips as wide as mine. As wide as mine. <laughs> <laughs> follow me before oh, the, the there top. is a safe place oh hey come follow me e Elodie is gonna give us a safe place to be this way yes Elodie let's go see where this safe place is it better not be a roadside inn <laughs> he says I'm well adjusted yes very well adjusted chiropractor stream <laughs> I've got a kink in my C4, but it's okay. <laughs> so how are you enjoying the joy? Huh? <laughs> what a question! <laughs> um, say you heard the accommodation was exceptional and had to see for yourself. Say that. Say it. It'd be all more, the more enjoyable if you was someone to get along with on the land. Say the magisters hauled you in, something about being a danger to yourself and society. And, uh, the accommodation was quite exceptional and... Uh, yes, free of charge, yes. Free rent. Yeah, yes, of course. Um, I would love to have a roadside inn accompany me. I just asked her to ask if she wants to join us, not to, I don't know, build a freaking house together. <laughs> she says she's, she's most uh, comfortable being an enchanter, but she's willing to <clears throat> become a martial a uh, person, a uh, dexterous person, oh. or a magic person. Nice. That Which means she's gonna I, join uh, us, yeah. I, th I think it will... We'll, sh you can be an enchanter, it's fine. That settles it, yes. More! Just join us already! <laughs> yeah, there's always more at the end. <laughs> Oh, yes, before you uh, do continue comparing me to... Uh, you have no idea how on the nose you were when you compi compared me to a clump of dead leaves. You see, I'm not alive. Her response is, duh. <laughs> duh. Good, good God, I've fooled everyone here, but Loesch somehow has keen, eagle-eyed perception. <laughs> I'm confused. Is this actually all part of the inter... In in like to at least someone yes i'm i'm just i'm just like i'm You're paraphrasing, paraphrasing but, but all of crap. all of this is really happening holy yes. crap that's nuts that's so there's a lot of oh ah and sh i've got an improvised staff now got um I, I i don't really ah of course she's a road sign in she comes with staff i get it <laughs> yeah oh, my god <laughs> <Kill me> <laughs> <laughs> I got some gloves. Yay. Well done, well done, well done. I've got a log. I have no idea what to do with it, but I've got it. Uh, I found a safe place for us to rest. Ah. Brilliant. Congratulations. You've got a companion as well now. Awesome. Marvelous. I think four is the max. 
that will make sense. I don't need uh, to eat, I don't think. You can have my apple and my cheese and these eggs. And my cheese. I don't know how they survived the ship crash, but you can have them. <laughs> Uh, you are a roadside inn, after all. Won't be a very successful inn if you can't prepare breakfast. <laughs> yes, this map is huge, dude. Anyways, let's uh, save and yes, call but, it here. Hey, yeah, uh, come to the cave entrance, the cavern. So <clears> can, <throat> where are you? I am to, if you press map, I'm to the south, my good man. How are we talking? Is this telekinesis? Yes, there you are. I come to you now. Uh, right direction? N no, wrong direction. Ah, it's this way. I know now. Also, I really like the voice I came up with, but it's murdering my throat. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> it eats at the tonsils. Dissolves them. I have no tonsils. They were removed when I was very young. Right. It's my teeth, they clatter. So, this is a safe spot we can go to, apparently. <sighs> okay. Ah, okay. So, let's save here. It's safe! Okay. I'm gonna do a save. Oh, but it's your game, so you need to save. Ah, oh, okay, cool. You're the... Escape! Save! Uh, I will do a new save. New save. That squirrel is still following us! <laughs> yep. Sir Laura! What are you? <laughs> <clears throat> anyway, this was really fun. This is, oh, server shutting down. Except, okay. Yeah, this is a. Uh, it. I like that we can kind of just fuck off in different directions and do our own thing. It. it it's kind of cool. Yeah. Um. I'm also curious what game master mode. I've seen people play game master mode. Um. But it feels like there's a lot of, like, work to be done. Uh. To you know, as they get game master. Um. Mm. The thing is, I think that if you play the main campaign, I think you Divinity don't need to do original much scene except two. just essentially take over. I don't know. I, I've, I've, I briefly, briefly watched Matt Mercer actually take over as a game master in Divinity Original mm, Sin. I saw that as well. But it wasn't, I didn't watch the whole thing, so yeah, I'm not I, sure exactly I how saw it works. It a few years ago, this is now just before COVID. There was mm -hmm. a player in our local community <clears throat> that, that said that if you're going to play online and you want to, <laughs> if you're going to play mm -hmm. on that video that Yaku shared in the in the Twitch chat, this is funny. <laughs> mm. Anyway, um, uh, if, if you're going to play online with something like Fancy Grounds or such, why not everyone get Divinity Original Sin and we do like a GM hosted session? Um, obviously the trick with that is that you need enough people with enough money to buy enough of the copies of the game and have computers capable to run it. Yep. Um, yep. Which is why yep. I didn't really pursue it. But I mean, we have got some, we've got a few people around us now that can do it. So mm. it, it might actually be viable for a moment, but we'll have to look into it. Um, mm. Let me just quickly see. Uh, da, 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 da. Where is my stream manager? Analytics. No, stream manager. Uh, managed goals, right channel. Uh, <laughs> hey, we got a new follower. <laughs> hey, nice. Oh, um, well, but yeah. So, uh, I mean, there was no real goal. Thank you for hanging out and playing a bit of Divinity. Um, I, I think we've got something we can play now for a good while. <laughs> Yes. I don't think I'll be able to do that voice every time. I might. No, no, not at all. Um, this. <clears throat> I really enjoyed it. <laughs> yeah, but, but I mean, I like that it's sort of we can jump into this world and I can go and play my own sort of RPS separately and then uh, we can join up to do things. Yeah, um, reconvene and yeah. Reconvene and share share loot. By the way, I picked up some lockpicks for you, which I'll have to get to you when we play again. Thank you. Also, we shouldn't be afraid of restarting once we've got the hang of it. Um, oh yes, no, yeah. Because I know exactly. you would, I, you might want to at some point after you. I, I definitely am going to play it on my own. I've been wanting to play it for a long <laughs> while now. 
Fair enough. And I, 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 I'm now, uh, it, the, the bug has now bitten me, so I'm <laughs> going to look into playing it. Yeah, just don't spoil too many things. This is one case where I wouldn't want too many spoilers. I want to have No, no, fair enough. I definitely want, I, I definitely want to spoil it for you, but I will, I will, uh, <laughs> I I will want to do that playthrough where I do everything 100% perfectly, and Obviously. that can't I mean, that can't be the one we do together. So well, not necessarily. There might be there will be cases it, where we dis disagree in in the course of action. No, yeah, obviously. Mm. What I mean is, it, I I play I play uh, uh, in a style that is a, I save scum a lot. So if something yes, doesn't so go my way, I reload uh, that. That doesn't con isn't very conducive to a good stream. Lastly, um, if anyone is still listening, um, just a quick note is that we are likely going to change our schedule to stream on Wednesdays. But you know, it's not like we've got a massive crowd that needs to be informed. So yeah, so if anyone does hear listen to this and you see us post on Wednesdays and not Fridays, that's why. Um, anyways, anything last thing from you, Dylan? Uh, no, thanks guys for listening. If you've listened this far, I think Yaku was with us until the very end there. Ah, thank you very much. He likes putting it on and zoning out, which is nice. <laughs> J Man, um, where is this? But yeah, so uh, from my side, thank you for everyone for, for, for coming along. And if you're listening to this on YouTube, you know, share if there's anything interesting that happened. This was not the most verbal stream, but I enjoyed it. Uh, speak to you guys soon and have a good time. Bye bye. Bye.